All right, we can finally do post time skip, time skip stuff. Starting off with just fumbling my words. We're off to a very solid start. Your Highness, Professor, I'm so glad you're both safe. Why are you here? Did you forget? We all made a promise on this very day five years ago. Dimitri, weren't you the one who asked that we all meet up here? Don't be silly. Of course you remember our promise. That's why you and the Professor are here, right? Your Highness, I have been following news of your whereabouts for a while now. I am relieved to have finally found you. Do not call me that. I am not a prince, but a walking corpse. Why would you say that? That is what we all believed, but it is not so. I can see with my own eyes that you are alive, Your Highness. But the jail cells in Ferdiad are as solid as they come. How did you manage to... To do? What happened? He's dead. He died in my place. I see. That's why he isn't here. We will be sure to honor his loyalty, Your Highness. As I doubt they the killed him off the for good. Kingdom, the seen lords them post from the western skip. regions have declared their fealty to the Empire, starting with House Roe. Cornelia's band of traitors now refers to Kingdom territory as the Fargus Dukedom. They've made Ferdiad their stronghold as they continue to invade the eastern region. Cornelia? She is a mage who has served the royal family for more than 20 years. There is much to tell you. I will explain everything in time. Well, it's not like all of the Kingdom's lords have sided with the Empire. There are plenty of houses, like mine and Felix's, that remain stubbornly opposed. Your Highness, please allow us to take up arms at your side once more. What we need more than anything isn't soldiers, money, or supplies. We need the legitimate heir of Fargus to overthrow the Empire and reclaim the Kingdom. Such is your duty. It is yours alone to bear, and well worth fighting for. Only you can gather our troops and lead us back into the light. You're still needed, Dimitri. I see. So, you all agree that we must fight back. And you see how that woman, how the Empire cannot be forgiven. That we must wipe them all out until not a single one of them remains. Wipe them all out? Um, I don't think any of us here are suggesting anything that extreme. <sighs> Professor, there is something I would like to ask you. Please, join me inside the monastery. Hmm. To think you survived under all that rubble for the past five years. I suppose stranger things have happened, odd as that is to admit. There is still much stranger? I would like to ask you, but I think that's enough for now. Where are the Knights of Saros? On that day five years ago, during the battle with the Imperial Army, Lady Rhea went missing. Since then, the Knights of Saros have continued searching for her, and for you. I hear they have yet to find any promising leads. As the Empire has yet to release a statement, it's hard to imagine that she has perished. And yet... No, never mind. Once news of your survival gets out, everyone will flock back to the monastery. What happened to the kingdom? After that battle, a certain... incident took place in Ferdiad. Rufus, who was serving as King Regent, was murdered. I was once a knight in service of the royal family. I resigned from the Knights of Seros and returned to serve the kingdom. As Neil's Rufus, However, he probably deserved it. This is madness. You truly claim that His Highness is the one who killed Rufus? Oh, but it's true. The only one who could slip past the bodyguards and kill so efficiently is the young prince. You can't deny it. Rufus is Prince Dimitri's uncle. His Highness is incapable of such an atrocious crime as murdering his own blood. Ah, but they were never very close, were they? It's a well-known fact among former retainers. 
there are even rumors that Rufus was originally involved in the tragedy of Dusker. Perhaps His Highness believed those rumors and murdered Rufus in a fit of rage. <laughs> but uh, I'm afraid none of that matters now. Cornelia, do not tell me that you... The decision has been made. His Highness will pay for his crime with his head. His sentence will be carried out the day after tomorrow. On that day, the royal bloodline will come to an end. All you have left to do is sit back and watch, you senile old fool. Watch as the kingdom you love falls to ashes. It was soon after announced that his sentence had been carried out. With his highness's death, the royal bloodline of House Blathed was erased from this world. True to her word, all we could do was watch as she tore the kingdom apart before our eyes. Since the execution and the prince's corpse were concealed from the public, there have always been those who believed his highness was still alive. As for myself, I only began to hope three years ago when I chanced upon some compelling rumors. What rumors? An Imperial platoon attacked without warning. Incident after incident of Imperial generals being slaughtered in Kingdom territory. It is said that each died in such a brutal, gruesome way that it is hard to imagine they were killed by human hands. I followed the rumors to location after location. Eventually, I had seen enough. I knew the rumors were true. Finally, after a half decade of torment, it happened. I found him. Uh, I fear his deep hatred and the weight of his solitude have consumed him for far too long. We must bring him back from the edge on which he stands. To that end, I must speak with his highness. I imagine it will not be a quick or easy conversation. I pray that he is of a mind to speak of such things. I am certain that my words will... Uh, never mind. What must be done, must be done. I would wager that you are weary after the day's events. Perhaps you should take this opportunity to get some rest. All right. Part two, Azure Moon, Guardian Moon, the Delusional Prince. Prince Dimitri and the remnants of the royal army join with the remaining Knights of Saros to form a revitalized kingdom army. Using Garrig Mach as their base of operations, they rise to action against the Empire. Each unit has grown up the past five years. Check their classes and weapons. You! So you were alive after all. I said it. Professor, and all the other it is so good to instructors see you again. and stuff. My brother and I were worried about you. Blaine. Oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess he lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you, but I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Gilbert has told us everything. From here on, our strength is yours as well. Does my heart well to see that all of you are safe. Now that we have all gathered, let's discuss our next course of action. We have two objectives, to overthrow the Empire and to rescue Rhea. I have no objection to joining forces with you. After all, our interests are aligned. Nothing could be more reassuring than securing the cooperation of the Knights of Seros. Let's fight together. The 
Archbishop entrusted all of her affairs to you. From now on, I shall comply with your wishes. We'll make Garrig Mok our base, and prepare to make our stand against the Empire. There is a fair amount of damage, but we will at least have shelter from the wind and rain. Surely those Imperial jerks have this place staked out, right? It's a highly strategic location. While it may be a strategic location, it's too far from the front lines to be worthy of notice at the moment. This area is inconvenient as far as transport time is concerned, so it's of little importance to their war effort. Even so, nothing slips past the Emperor. It is safe to assume she at least has this place under surveillance. Professor, what do you think about making this place our base? I have no objections. Works for me. Fortunately, there are still villages and hamlets nearby. And though I wouldn't call them abundant, we have war funds as well. What do you think, Your Highness? Do as you please. Hey, don't act like this doesn't concern you. We finally reunited after all this time. We've got to work together. She's right. In fact, why don't we all join forces and clean this place up a bit? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And it'll give us time to reminisce about all the good old days at the Academy. I can't wait. How carefree of you. It may sound trivial, but, well, I think it's a good idea. I understand feeling impatient, Your Highness, but patience is key at a time like this. If we fix up our base, it will improve morale, which will be sorely needed as we... Fools. That's all settled down. Stay out of this. Please calm yourself, Your Highness. We are not your enemies. My enemies say the same. What happened to him? It's like he's a completely different person. I feel so bad for him. Would it help if I brewed him a nice pot of tea? I cannot claim to understand how he feels. However, the way he's behaving, it's as though he's being haunted by some unseen force. He wasn't always like this. Perhaps. Oh, here we go. All the A support conversations. Here they come. Do you have a moment, Professor? I need to speak with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. This is what I wanted to address. This letter from my adoptive father just arrived. Adoptive father? Oh, have I not mentioned him? He's the reason I first came to the Officers Academy. He's also the one who dragged me from the church where I was living, just so he could use my crest. I don't understand. My crest does not yet belong to a house, so he plans to use it as leverage to marry into the nobility. He's a very greedy man who was a roving merchant before adopting me, but now he's in the capital. This letter says that he's finally arranged to marry me off to a wealthy noble. <sighs> I know he's just thinking of himself, but can't he see that this isn't a priority when we're at war? Your thoughts exactly. Uh, I don't know what to do about this proposal. Will you accept? I can't see any way around it, so I fear that I must. I just don't want to let go of the life that I've made for myself. I know it's not what my heart wants, but I don't have the strength to say no. What does your heart want? I believe I've mentioned this before. But I want to work in service of the church. Well, I suppose it doesn't necessarily have to be the church, but I want to help those in need. If I were to marry a noble, I think it would be difficult to realize that dream. Why can't you decline? It's just, I've always allowed myself to follow the whims of those above me. I convinced myself that everything in life was at the will of the goddess. I was blind to reality. I believed it was her will to both pull me from the church 
and guide me to the officer's academy. The decision to enter this war was the first time I acted of my own free will. My adoptive father opposed this decision, but I somehow managed to convince him. Still, I couldn't free myself of him completely. This letter is proof of that. It's not that I'm scared of him, but there is something that worries me. I bring your ties? Ah, I knew you'd understand, Professor. I've sat down to write a reply several times, but I can't muster up the courage or the words. I was hoping you could provide me with the encouragement I need. You can't just give up on your dreams. That's a very good point. We're only given one life, so we must do all we can to pursue our happiness. Okay. I think that may have been just the push I was looking for. I'll tell him the truth. That I found a life worth pursuing, and I must decline the proposal. Maybe I should tell him I've fallen for someone else. <laughs> fallen for someone else? Why, it's you, Professor. Isn't that obvious? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Now I'm off to write this letter and stand my ground. Thank you for your encouragement. Thanks, Cora. Here's what now Sylvain is doing. Yeah, I go for a visit. Ah, uh, that hurts. Ah, Professor. Thanks for stopping by. How's your injury? It's not bad. I was even told I'd be cleared for service starting tomorrow. Besides, I got this scar fighting for you. It's almost like a medal or something. Didn't you want to kill me? I certainly meant it when I said it, but... When I thought you were going to be killed for real, my reflexes kicked in. I reacted without thinking. It doesn't mean I've stopped being jealous of you. But come on, I can't help but look up to you. If I'd had the guts to run away from home, I wonder if I would have cared as little about my crest as you do yours. You didn't have the courage? No, but if I thought I could have escaped, I would have tried. I'd leave behind House Gautier and the life of a nobleman and anybody who knew I had a crest. Our home is to the very north of the kingdom. Just across the mountains from us is land inhabited by foreigners to Fodlan. It once belonged to Fargus, but now that the kingdom has collapsed, it's only a matter of time until fighting breaks out. Anyway, that land has been contested for centuries, and all that time, it has fallen to House Gautier to protect it. Actually, our lands of ruin has been doing most of the protecting. But it was stolen. Those were dangerous times. One wrong step, and we would have lost our relic to the church. My father was afraid that the church would try to keep the lance, so he entrusted it to me. If an emergency arose, I was supposed to be called back home. I guess those very situations are why my family values crests so much. Since I bear a crest, my parents made sure I was never left wanting. My older brother didn't have one, and so when I was born, he was pushed aside. You know, he once shoved me in a well. He left me on the mountainside in the middle of winter, too. It's horrible. <sighs> Even as a little kid, I understood why he was like that. My mere existence stole everything from him. I have no right to complain when I am surrounded by people who would give anything to bear a crest, but do not. Now, women smile at me for the same reason my parents adore me, and my brother wanted me dead. And I have to meet them all with a smile and a wink. Because I have a crest. What you really feel toward women is... The women who just want to use me to become nobility? Hatred's probably the right word. Though, in the end, that's just an easy answer. I don't even know how I truly feel about it all. Anyway, it was pretty unreasonable of me to resent you. I'm really sorry about that. And I want to say thank you, Professor. Seriously, thank you. 
For what? Before I met you, I'd gone my whole life not knowing there was another way for me to live. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'm glad we met. Another one? Ingrid's birthday. Thank you. Nope, no another one. Alright. We got a lot of housekeeping. Sylvain, eat these. Yo, chess master. What are these, Felix? Oh, hey, is this candy? A girl in town gave them to me, but I don't want them. Right. You don't like sweet stuff. Thanks. I'll eat them later. So, what do you need? Want me to help you get closer to a girl? Just point her out. You're incorrigible. No, I wanted to thank you for your help in battle. If you hadn't spotted that enemy ambush, well, I would have been killed. Nah, I didn't do anything special. Friends help each other out, especially on the battlefield. Just a little give and take, you know? You never change. Nope. I try to stay on an even keel. You're always... Always what? <sighs> Nothing. Come on. If you've got something on your mind, then say it. Maybe I'll tell you later. Maybe I won't. Fair enough. I'll be having something to eat while you're deciding... Whatever it is you're deciding. Actually, come with me. My treat. If you do want to talk, then I'm right there. Okay, just this once. Only because you saved my life. Free food, possible conversation, and when we're done, we can find some girls. <sighs> it was a joke! <laughs> Felix, I was joking! Come on, let's just go eat. Here you are. Oh, were you looking for me, Felix? You were injured in the last battle. Are you okay? I'm fine now. Thank you for your concern. You really are troublesome. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to get in your way out there. I just couldn't help but worry. I was only trying to keep an eye on you. <sighs> what are you even doing on the battlefield? You endangered yourself and got hurt. Such a stupid thing to do. Yes, of course, you're right. I have no excuses. If you intend to carry on being such a fool, you'd best stay near me. Are you sure? I'd hate to get in your way again. You can... um... Hmm? You can keep thinking of me as your little brother. And that'd be better than going through this again. But I thought you didn't like that. Didn't you say you were fed up with it? I am fed up with it. I've already spent years filling in for someone who's dead. My older brother inspired love and respect. He was a great knight. He died. Since his death, his memory has followed me around like a shadow. Oh. I didn't know you had a brother too. <laughs> I don't let my personal feelings distract me on the battlefield. Still. Do I really remind you of him? Well, you don't look like him. But something about you feels so familiar. It just makes me want to protect you. That's not to say that you're incapable or unreliable or anything like that. In fact, it's quite the opposite. You're the one who just came to check on me. You need to pay attention to your surroundings. You're reckless. Lives are at stake, including mine, when I have to run over and save your skin. Yes, I'll try to be more careful. Thank you for being so kind, Felix. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of a lot of support for Felix. And everybody, pretty much. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. A flash, and then a big boom. 
If you blow up the library, where will we put the books? Good point, Felix. A flash and then a big bang! What are you doing here, Felix? I heard singing. You were watching me again, weren't you? <laughs> well, your skill is impressive, I'll admit. Well, today of all days. I knew I should have chosen a different song. A different song? Like what? <sighs> Any of them. The box song, or maybe the dungeon song? Now those sound interesting. No, they're just regular songs. Uh, forget it. <sighs> While you're here, can you help me clean up? I need the books on that shelf up there, but I can't reach them. Oh, sure, no problem. What, you're not going to sing anymore? No way! It's too embarrassing. And that song isn't even finished anyway. Ah, that's too bad. I wanted to hear what happened after the library was blown away. Hey, don't look at me like that. Okay, fine. If you insist, I'll sing just a bit more. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. Flash and then a big boom, suddenly the deed is done. My, what a great job I did. Who says cleaning isn't fun? Huh, that doesn't really explain what happened with the library. Maybe they'll build a new one? <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. And listening to it gives secondhand embarrassment. Alright, Felix and Ingrid. Why are you taking over my cleaning responsibilities? You're wounded, and you're going too slowly. I couldn't stand to watch. You're still fretting over me, are you? I'm fine now, really. It wasn't even serious. I could have handled the situation alone. That enemy wasn't much of a threat. Yes, yes, we all know you could have. But I also didn't want to risk something unforeseen befalling you. I've been doing some thinking. I feel a bit lost. I don't know that I'm cut out to be a knight after all. Without fulfilling that dream, without being a knight, I've been asking myself where my place is in the world. And I think... I think I've found my answer. I don't want to lose anyone anymore. So I want to protect those I hold dear. That's why you were protecting me, huh? What a fool you are. Foolish to act in line with what I value most? Were I to die, I would die knowing I followed my heart, my truest calling. I've been reading through more of that book I was telling you about. Recall the hypothetical question it posed? Do you carry out the orders, or protect your hometown? You've been reading that garbage again? The book never specified that one should prioritize the commander's orders. Instead, it suggested that one should follow their heart in the matter. That's what a knight, that's what anyone being true to themselves should do. That's just the editor's opinion. Of course, and I find value in that opinion. Glenn died following his heart, not heeding the commands of the country or even the royal family. His death pains me to this day. It was a tragedy. But had he survived, I think he would have suffered. I will follow his example. No matter the outcome, no matter the circumstance, I believe in myself. <laughs> you know nothing. What is it that you know then? What is it you fight for, Felix? My own beliefs. I see no difference from my own stance. You don't understand. You fight to be stronger than everyone that you might protect those you care for, correct? Okay, fine. You do understand. My point is, don't let this happen again. If you died, I'd be... annoyed. To avoid annoyance, then, I suggest you continue to grow stronger. If that happens, I might allow you to protect me, too. <sighs> You're insufferable. Alright, 
You like some Dorothea, eh? You, get over here. Get over here? <laughs> How about I tell you to get out of here? You're always following me around. At least make yourself useful. Let's spar. What? Are you serious? I don't joke. Draw your weapon, unless you intend to fight without one. If you want to train, then do it on your own. If you don't attack first, I will. Okay. If you want me to knock some sense into you, who am I to say no? For someone whose only aspiration is marriage, you're pretty strong. <laughs> is this your attempt at flattery? Oh, it is, isn't it? When I was in the opera, I always trained for self-defense. Couldn't really get by without it. Nowadays, if you can't use a sword, then you're just in the way. Perhaps I had you all wrong. I thought you were just a frivolous girl who cared only for men of status. On the contrary, you seem well aware of the realities of the world. I respect that. Yeah, yeah, all right. <sighs> I'm beat. I'm going to go sit down and relax with a cup of tea. You'll join me, naturally. I will? We just trained together. Are you really going to turn me down? <sighs> just this once. Good. Let's go for tea. While we're at it, shall you treat me to a meal? Don't get carried away. No, oh, you're no fun. Felix! I've awaited this fated day. You don't change. Still prattling on about it. Aw, oh, come on. I just want to hear what you thought of the cake I gave you. Uh, it was edible. If by edible, you mean incredible, then yes, I agree. It was satisfying and lightweight. I imagine it would be quite useful as a battlefield provision. Please refrain from lumping delectable cake into the same category as provisions. You're upset and I don't understand why. I'm complimenting the cake. You cured my dislike of sweets. For that, I thank you. You have an interesting way of giving compliments, but I'm glad you liked it. Yes. Got any cakes on you? You say that as though I just carry cake on me at all times. Did you want some? That's not what I meant. If you baked a cake, however, I wouldn't object to eating a slice. If cake is what you want, you can just ask me directly. It just so happens I have a brand new recipe I tried out, special for you. It's delicious and not overly sweet. Perfect for you. Okay. Go on, take a bite. Mm. You love it, I can tell. Here, try this one out too. Mm -hmm. See? Huh? Just keep working on that sweet tooth of yours. Then we can share cake notes together and eat cake together all the time. That is, it just sounds nice is all. Mm hmm? Oh, okay. That does sound nice. <laughs> to know. There are so many differences between bows and blades. Yes. You're a quick learner, Leone, and quite a good teacher as well. <laughs> Must be Captain Gerald's influence. The weather, the terrain, the enemy's feelings. You have to find ways to make it all work for you. I agree. A warrior can't stick too closely to predefined tactics. That's quite shrewd. You're impressive for a girl. For a girl? Come on, you're past that. Looking down on your opponent is a great way to fall into a pit trap, isn't it? I suppose that's true. Glad you remember. I still have much to learn. Not only about swordplay, but also about thinking on my feet. I hope to learn more from you, Leone. Count on it. 
We'll come up with plenty of new ideas if we work together. Guess that means we're partners, doesn't it? We're what? Partners. Friends who help each other improve. Hmm. Huh. Partners. That's not bad. Not at all. Looking forward to working with you, partner. Likewise, partner. The shell of his is starting to melt. Yeah, he's not a uh, total hard ass that can't uh, be friends with anybody. Excuse me, Ash. Do you have a moment? I finally managed to finish cooking a dish, and I would love for you to have a taste. Sounds good. I'd be happy to. Wow, Mercedes. This is delicious. I used that herb you suggested. Boiling it gave off such a lovely aroma. I think I used the right amount of spice, too. Even I could eat it without burning my tongue. I'm a much better cook now, thanks to you. I hope you can continue teaching me. Oh, definitely. I should thank you, too. Thank me? Even after all the trouble I've caused you? Seeing you persevere has made me really happy. In fact, you've reminded me of someone I cared about a lot. Oh, someone you cared about? Romantically? This is all so sudden, Ash. I, I don't... Uh, I, I didn't mean it that way. I was actually thinking about my brother. <sighs> what a relief. I didn't even know you had a brother. He was the son of Lenato, my adoptive father. I always called him my brother, though. Failure never got to him. All he'd ever do is laugh and try again. Whenever I was feeling down about a setback, he would cheer me up. He'd say something like, Don't worry, we'll tackle it together next time. I was always happy to have him around. He sounds like a wonderful person. He was. And I get the same feeling from you. I've done nothing but bother you with frivolous little things. I'm sure I could never be like your brother. But I'd like to stay by your side, if you'll have me. What do you mean? I want to be there to help you in times of need, or to cheer you up when you're feeling down. I should be able to manage that without doing too much damage. I'm glad to hear you say that. Thank you, Mercedes. I know I can rely on you. An okay ace port. Oh, how unlucky that we were assigned to clean this ancient tower. It's not a pleasant a job, dark. but someone has to do it. With all the windows boarded up, it's so dark. And oh, it's still strange a strange noises. Like that noise. What was that? A rat? Tell me it was a rat. B better than a ghost. You're not scared of ghosts, are you, Ash? I didn't think you'd be. You haven't seen what I've seen. Ah! Ah! Oh no! What was that noise? It, it, it's okay. It's just the wind blowing the door shut. <laughs> oh no! The latch is rusted. <laughs> it won't budge. What? You mean we're trapped in here? I'm sorry. I didn't think to prop the door open. Don't worry about that now. We need to think of a way out of here. Uh, what if we were to pry the boards off the windows? Yes, that. We can do it in no time. Oh, uh, there's something on my face. Calm down, Ash. It's a cobweb. Just a cobweb. We've got to pull ourselves together. Now, which of the windows should we check? Uh, I can't stand it here in the pitch dark. Oh, I've got one here. Stand back. Oh, we made it. <sighs> I wouldn't want to go through that again. For a moment there, I didn't think we'd make it out alive. No, oh, wait. I've lost it. It's gone. What is it? The doll my father gave me. Oh, I must have dropped it. In the tower? Are you going back for it? No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. 
I've been meaning to throw it out for a while now. Are you sure? If it was a gift from your father... Yes, but it can't be helped. Let's just get back to the monastery. Uh, right. Hmm. <laughs> Ingrid A. There you are, Ingrid. Whoa, uh, hi, Ash. You seem excited. What's that you're holding? A book I found in town. I bought it for you. For me? Ash, this looks very costly. Antique books like this are never cheap. Wow. The cover is stunning, and the binding is still in fantastic condition. I drove a hard bargain. Still, I'll probably have to cut back on my spending for a while. <laughs> Why did you go to so much trouble? Well, it, it wasn't easy, but as soon as I came across this legend, I knew you had to read it too. Well then, I will read it. Oh, the knight on the cover looks striking. Fascinating, right? I was captivated from the moment I laid eyes on the cover. There's an aura of stoicism intermingled with beauty, even amid a gruesome battle. Wait, looking closer at the face, this knight is a woman. Yes, and she was a real historical figure. She was born into a noble family and bore a crest, but she was accepted into the king's service as a knight. She fought in many battles at her king's side, serving him all her life as his right hand. Oh, sorry, I, I've said too much. I didn't mean to spoil the story for you. I'm just so excited. I hope you enjoy it, too. Thank you for the encouragement, Ash. Living as a knight is certainly not an easy task. I know it will mean much pain, strife, and heartache. But I still want to pursue that dream. Talking to you has reminded me. I'm not the type who gives up easily. That's the Ingrid I know. So to start, I'm going to read this book. Great! When you're finished and freshly inspired, we'll talk about becoming knights. Not the ones in stories, either. The real thing! I look forward to it, Ash. A few just wholesome support conversations. It seems Dimitri is unable to deepen his bonds right now. Yeah, I was wondering how exactly that was uh, going to play out, considering his mental state. It's not that he can't, it's that Kaspar? he's unable to. There's been another theft in the pantry. Come on, we can't waste time arguing about it like last time. We gotta catch the guy. There he is. Corner him, Ash. I've cut off his escape route. He's all yours. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, you dirty thief. We did it! He was pretty nimble, but no match for the two of us together. I guess, but I didn't think our thief would be so... Meow. Cat. <laughs> yeah, I never would have guessed a cat this big could sneak into our pantry. So, uh, what do we do with him? We? Weren't you the one barreling on about striking the culprit down last time? You really think I'm gonna attack him? Why don't you try your genius plan instead? Go ahead, talk it out. Let the cat explain himself. I doubt you'll understand a word the guy says. Gotta bring Marianne in. <laughs> I guess neither of us has the right solution here. So, what are we going to do with this? Oh! Huh? like he gave us the slip. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> well, after a daring escape like that, I guess there's no more we can do. I'll teach him a lesson if we ever catch him again. I thought of a pretty good plan to show him the error of his ways. Well, I've got an idea of my own, so I guess I'd better find him first. Is that a challenge? Well then, may the best plan win. So they're no longer hunting down bees, they're hunting down cats. Over here.
here, Petra. Ash, I do not have familiarity with this alley. That's all right. This is the place I was talking about. It's not much to look at, but the food's incredible. Here you are, friends. Enjoy your meal. Hmm, looks great. Let's dig in. Okay. I will be giving this my try. Oh, it has a delicious flavor. Ash, what is this dish being called? Uh, I'm not sure it has a name. They just kind of throw together whatever they've got. But that means you never eat the same dish twice. Not knowing what you'll get is part of the fun. A dish of infinite varieties? You would not be finding such a wonder in a restaurant for nobles. A commoner technique indeed. I give you my gratitude, Ash. I have learned a great many things about the commoner techniques. No need to be so formal. I like showing you around. Not many people want to come to places like this. But I am feeling that our deal has been very... one-sided. Are you sure you are not needing anything in exchange? If you are not wanting any curses, I can offer other information in trade. Hey, come on, stop that. Stop that? What am I stopping? Talking about payment. You don't owe me anything. We're friends, aren't we? Friends don't pay each other for the time they spend together. You and I... are friends? Are you speaking truth? I hope so, at least. So why don't we just talk about whatever we'd like, okay? I have understanding. I will now be speaking whatever I wish. You are my friend. There are many things I am wishing for you to know. <laughs> All right, moving on, Ash and Marianne. Oh, Marianne, are you confessing again today? No, I was waiting for you. For me? Um, I wanted to apologize. You kept trying to encourage me, but I just avoided you in return. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. I only wanted to give you some advice, but I ended up running you off. Can I tell you something, Ash? Of course. You said that my crest is an extraordinary gift, but I don't agree with that at all. Don't people have more important qualities? What do you mean? Like, um, how much we help those around us. Or whether or not we can make other people smile. Sylvain says that a person's value is in their smile. Sylvain, huh? He really can turn anything into a line. <laughs> I'm trying to be less negative. I've also realized that I should have a dream to pursue like you do. I think people who have something to work toward are more fulfilled. Yet here I am, living an empty life without a dream. That still sounds kind of negative to me. What does being fulfilled even mean here anyway? Are you saying that people without dreams live empty lives? I don't agree with that. When I was a kid, I was too busy worrying about my next meal to have a dream. Was my life empty then? That's not what I mean at all. I just don't know... I don't know how to find my dream. Hey, chin up. Maybe I can help. I'm sure we can come up with something for you in no time if we put our heads together. You'll help me? Absolutely. Unless, uh... You don't want me to, of course. No, I would appreciate that. I want to find something worth working toward. Together, with you, and with my head held high. All right. The first ever Gilbert support. Excellent. Well done, Ash. Continue such work. This else the first you will one. certainly make a name for yourself. You think so? Thank you, Gilbert. You really are amazing, you know. Your skills with the lance and bow are just incredible. He uses axes. One learns the craft of knighthood well after 40 years of service. Wow, 40 years? That's incredible. With that many years of training, I'd be really strong, wouldn't I? Further training and service will only make you stronger. Yet, why spend your life this way? 
Knighthood is not glamorous. On long campaigns, you sleep rough in all manner of weather, and may eat gruel more often than venison. It seems odd that you would admire me, or that you would long to be a knight. Are you sure of yourself? But of course, it's been my dream for a long time now. I really can't help but admire you. Your years of knighthood are so impressive. I do not deserve your praise. I merely performed my duties to the best of my skill. Don't be modest, you're a great knight. If there's any more you can teach me, I would be very happy to learn. Hmm. Tell me this. Once you don the armor, raise your shield and level your lance, why? What is it you wish to protect? Protect? I, um, well, whatever needs protecting, right? You must know exactly what you protect before you become a knight. I understand. I'll take that to heart. What is it that you want to protect, if I may ask? My duty has always been to protect my lord. That is a given for any knight. But for myself, doubly so. Then there are the personal reasons. Each knight has their own. Yet mine, I do not speak of. Oh. How come? Because it is personal. Mine. It allows me to focus on the work and grants me discipline. That is sufficient. Discipline, huh. Something to protect. I'll have to think of something. Ash and Cyril A. Uh, no good. I've lost sight of them completely, and those monsters might still be out there. I'd better get back to the monastery before dark. Ash! Ash! I finally found you! Cyril? What are you doing here? You're awfully far from your post. I'd heard you'd gone missing, so I started looking for you everywhere. Here, I brought you a map. You can use this to get home later, right? You came all this way for that. Alone. It's dangerous out here. Am I being a nuisance? Well, <laughs> of course not. This is a big help, actually. You took a serious risk coming out here, though. But I thought we were friends. That's what you told me, Ash. You said friends help each other when they're in trouble. <sighs> I did say that. You're right. Come on, let's get back to the monastery. I could use your help finding the way. I know you could. That's why I came out here. Oh no, I just thought about it. I'm gonna be in trouble when I get back, huh? Maybe. Leaving your post is against orders. But don't worry, I'll take a share of the punishment. What? Why? You did nothing wrong. <laughs> it's true. We're friends, though, aren't we? Friends gotta get punished together, too? I don't know about all that. I wouldn't put it like that. I'd say friends stick together, through good and bad. So, let's split the blame. That's what friends are for. Wow, so that's what friends are for. Okay then, when you're in trouble next time and you need my help, I'll go with you to get punished. <laughs> Good. I hope you remember that, because I think we're going to be friends for a long time. You betcha. Friends for life, Ash. That's a promise. Well, that's a good A support. Just straight wholesome. Alright, we got Sylvain and Mercedes, and then Sylvain and Ingrid. Mercedes, you're looking divine as always. Good evening, Sylvain. Thank you for coming out to see me. Just the two of us meeting at this time of night? You move quicker than I thought. Hmm? I don't know what speed has to do with it, but there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Ah, okay. I probably should have figured that out. I can be so forgetful at times. I neglected to mention this the other day. I meant to say that I know you've been through a lot in this life. Huh? Me? Your parents have placed a great deal of pressure on you as their heir. And it's all because you were born with a crest. 
You had to put up with such lofty expectations. All of the kingdom's noble houses expect a lot from their heirs. I'm no different from any other noble guy or gal. We've all got responsibilities. But didn't you mention that your brother envied you enough to wish you dead? I'm sure that wasn't easy. Thinking about it, life was probably a lot harder for my brother than it ever has been for me. Didn't you also mention that women were only interested in having your, as you say, crest baby? I'm not very interested in the particulars, but I get the feeling that you don't care very much for these women who throw themselves at you. Um, I'd appreciate it if maybe you kept that observation between the two of us. Your secret's safe with me. I understand the pain you've had to carry. I know you've got your share of bad memories too, but... That's why you feel comfortable letting your guard down around me. Come now. That's enough with the sad smile. Mercedes. Was my sad smile really that bad? Did it ruin my dashing good looks? Not at all. You actually look more handsome to me with honesty on your face. <laughs> Aw, here come the waterworks. Don't be ashamed of crying. I'm here to protect you. Will you protect me in return? I will. I promise. You know, Mercedes, you really are a special lady. And let's see this one. Training on your own? You really do work hard. I hate to break it to you, Sylvain, but there's nobody here for you to flirt with. So there's not much reason to hang around. Fern, you're here, aren't you? How ridiculous. Almost as ridiculous as your face. You'd really say something like that to a handsome guy like me? I'm crushed. Joking aside, may I join you? I only came out here so I could train too. Sure, just don't get in my way. I've been thinking about it, and I really depend on you. Maybe that's weird since I'm older than you, but still. Hitting on me? Again? Have some dignity, would you? No, I'm being honest. I thought you'd listen. Hey, I'd like it if you didn't get too far away from me on the battlefield, okay? Just stay where I can see you. I'll stay as long as I can. You're useless without me, after all. What? No, I'm saying if there's one thing I can do on the battlefield, it's keep you safe. Whatever helps you feel better. Stay and protect me, then. I couldn't bear it if you went off and died on me while I wasn't around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's my line. It's getting late. We'd better head out. You're right. I'm exhausted anyway. You haven't been practicing enough. All that time you waste chasing after women would be better spent training. I'll train with you anytime, so just... Hmm? What's that strange look for? I just... Oh, well... You're going to think I'm being a jerk or hitting on you or whatever. When we're side by side like this, training, I feel... I don't know. Oddly at ease. I know what you mean. It's probably because we've been friends for so long. That must be it. Let's never change. Friends forever? <laughs> Absolutely. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends, Sylvain. So, Sylvain and Ingrid and... Felix and Ingrid both have like the same result for their supports. Oh, there's an A plus still to happen with those two. All right, we have Mercedes with Annette and Fernand. We're almost Annie, about to hit one hour of no gameplay. All support Is this conversations. This happened when we were shopping. If so, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Not so fast. I haven't properly apologized yet. So, I'm sorry. I just... I got scared. Imagine if something bad happened to you because of me. Mercy. You would have just run away if you were on your own, wouldn't you? Instead, 
You acted defensively because I was there. I dragged you down. Mercy, you're upsetting me. How dare you say that you dragged me down? You know why I was acting so recklessly? Because I wanted to protect my best friend in the whole world. Annie. Do you remember when we first enrolled at the Academy? It seemed like everyone was leagues ahead of us and so far out of reach. I felt completely hopeless. But because you were there, I didn't lose hope. So don't say stupid things about how you drag me down or how you don't deserve things. Thank you for saying that. And again, I'm sorry. You're just so important to me. I know I could never find another friend like you. You stayed by my side through thick and thin. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. Mercy, can we be friends again? Of course, Annie. Friends forever. <laughs> Good. I don't know what I would have done if we hadn't found a way to make up. I'm sorry. I should have said something sooner. No, I'm the one who should have stopped being so stubborn and said something. <laughs> you know, now that everything's as it should be, I'm suddenly starving. <laughs> That's just like you. Come, let's go for tea. Oh, let's! <laughs> and we should have some mercy-baked sweets on the side. I think I love you more than just about anything in the world. You do? Oh, Anna, you're too sweet. Not as sweet as your baking. I love your baking more than anything in the world, too. Other than you. <laughs> well, I'm always happy to bake for you, Annie. Oh, I'm so happy to have you bake uh, back. <laughs> the true intentions, Freudian slipping out. Mercedes and Ferdinand. Mercedes! Finally! There you are. Ah, oh, Ferdinand. Why are you so short of breath? I just wanted to show you something. What's this? Um... Oh! Yes. These are financial records that I recovered from your adoptive father. They prove that when he adopted you, large sums of money changed hands. Where did you come across these? I stealthily made my way into Ferdiad and looked around his estate. It was easy. That kind of thing is no trouble for an intrepid young noble such as myself. That's amazing! I mean, amazingly irresponsible. <laughs> I can't believe you put yourself at risk for my benefit. I really wish you wouldn't do such things. No, I did it for my benefit. I could not help myself. With these documents, we can show everyone what a scoundrel your adoptive father really is. His noble aspirations will be crushed. The Lord of the Region will probably rescind his adoption contract. In other words, you will be free. Here, take them. Do with them what you will. Do you really believe these will set me free? Yes, of course. You will be free to decide your own path in life and go wherever your heart leads you. That does sound nice, but... I'm sorry, Ferdinand, but I think you should hold on to the documents. Why? Is this not what you want? I've lived so much of my life following everyone else's lead, so much so that I've come to terms with it. It's almost unavoidable at this point. But with these, I could regain my freedom and change all that. You baffle me. Do you not wish to be free? <laughs> of course I do. Let me try that again in a way you might understand. <clears throat> a true noble cuts their own path, seizing freedom from the clutches of tyranny. <laughs> I cannot argue with that. Fine then. I will hold on to the documents. <laughs> but... I'm really very happy that you're so concerned with my well-being, Ferdinand. It means so much to me that you went through all that trouble on my behalf. Of course, Mercedes. The smile on your face is well worth the effort. This is nice. 
Now I have Annette with Linhart Caspar and the sea support with Gilbert. <sighs> There's nothing like a morning stroll to take in the fresh air. Hmm? In the thicket there, is that a human foot? Ah, it moved! Someone help! Sorry, Annette. <sighs> I was really out. Hey! You shouldn't surprise people like that. I thought you were an undead corpse. Wrong Fire Emblem game. Why are you sleeping out here anyway? We're in the middle of a war. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Middle of a war or no, you'll not defeat the Master of Dreams. He's a fiercely strong enemy. Stop joking around. What are you even talking about? No joking, I assure you. He is quite unstoppable. Or perhaps you know his weakness? You really never change, do you? You sleep just as much as ever. Do you even remember what I told you? You told me something? When? <sighs> of course you don't. I told you that putting in effort... Is how you grow. Is that the one? So, you do remember? Should I not have remembered? No! Uh, it's just... You should put your talents to use elsewhere, that's all. The truth is, I place effort in what brings me joy. I'm happiest that way. No, that's not... Okay, let me put it this way instead. Working hard for other people helps you grow as a person. Do you not get the urge to work hard for other people? Like when you helped me before? Not as such. Why would I go through that effort? For what gain? Uh, for the gain I mentioned. That it helps you grow as a person. Oh, I see. Well, then, continue working hard for my sake. For example, waking me up today. And I suppose I will try to do a little bit more for you, too. I find working for others to be annoying. Yet, I wish to make an exception for you. I hope that's all right. Just for me? Indeed. You're the only person I'd bother helping. I could wear myself out helping you. Forever, maybe. What about it? I'll be there for you, and you can be there for me. Oh, uh, what do you mean by that? What? If we're doing our best for each other and all, then if that's just a bit like... Just kind of like... Like a marriage. Huh. You know, I feel as if you might be able to wake me up every morning. No small feat that. <laughs> As though I would marry a man who can't even get up in the morning. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Annette and Caspar B. <sighs> Why did this have to happen? Getting separated from my own troop. I'm a failure as a commander. It's already almost sunset. And my wounds are aching. I'm so hungry. Maybe I'm just gonna die right here. Uh, but no! That's such a pathetic way to die. <sighs> I wonder if the rest of my soldiers are okay. I'm so worried about them. Up and at him, Annette. There you go. Caspar? What are you doing here? I was wounded in the forest. L lost sight of my troop. I, I wandered around and... It Oh, where is everyone? Calm down, you got nothing to worry about. They're fine. My men retrieved the rest of your unit. You're the one we've been worried about. How you feeling? Are you hurt? You've got a pretty painful looking wound on your leg. Oh, I'm all right. Though I might have trouble running. If you say so, I gotta admit, I got the chills when I heard you were missing. Your soldiers told me what happened. I was only able to find you thanks to them. You've got a good troop there. You should be proud. What's wrong, Annette? Not feeling so good after all? No, that's not it. I was just thinking about what a hopeless commander I am. It's my job to look after my soldiers, but they ended up having to look out for me. If I'm this hopeless, I shouldn't be out there at all. What are you talking about? I don't know anyone around here who works harder than you. You put your all into your work, and everyone knows it. Why do you think your soldiers are so loyal? Caspar. 
There's no way they'd do so much for you if they didn't see it in you. Come on, let's head back. I'll help you if you're having trouble walking. Your soldiers are worried about you. Go show them you're doing just fine. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Kaspar. No problem. Just remember that it's okay to make mistakes, as long as you're learning from them. There we go. See ya. Father! Father! Why do you pretend not to recognize me? Annette, I... I've been looking everywhere for you. Please stop treating me like a stranger. I can't bear it. <sighs> Father, wait! How long will you keep... Oops. I have lost the right I didn't even to face press anything. you or your mother. This has I have nothing no idea to how that do even with happened. rights. We're family. I'm your daughter. Indeed, you are my daughter. Yet I am no father. I am only a fool who abandoned his family. You really think it was foolish to abandon us? I do. Then the least you can do is apologize. I'm fine, but Mother deserves as much. I finished my studies at the School of Sorcery and the Officer's Academy. I have a busy and satisfying life now. But Mother... She's waited for you to return all this time, living under my uncle's roof. I... I am sorry, Annette. I already told you. Don't say that to me. Apologize to Mother. Let her see your face. That I cannot do. I know you do not understand, but it is the way of things. As for you, Annette, say the word, and I will disappear from your life forever. For now, though, I must return to my duties. Father, how could you be so cruel? Now they work better in combat together. Ingrid and Raphael, a sport. Eating? In the dining hall. You? What do you mean? The dining hall's where I do most of my eating. If only the old version of you could hear you say that. It seems to me you've taken more care with your appearance of late, too. For once, you aren't covered in gravy and oil from head to toe. I'm impressed. Of course not, Ingrid. A proper night has to be neat and tidy. All right, what have you done with Raphael? It's all thanks to you. You said I had to clean up if I wanted to be a knight, so I started being more careful. Do you think I have what it takes now? You've certainly become more knightly than before. But there's plenty yet to do to become a proper knight. It's not as simple as eating where you're meant to and not being covered in gravy. <laughs> Maybe I'd have a better chance if I just married you. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? You're real cultured, that's all. You already taught me to be neat and tidy. I figured you could teach me a lot more about being a proper knight if I always had you around. That would be quite the undertaking for me. Listen, Raphael, that's sweet of you. However, as I've said before, I've no intention to marry. Let's cast aside this talk of marriage and instead embolden one another to be the best knights we can be. You're right. Probably a better idea to just embolden each other instead. As long as I still get your help with becoming a proper knight. While you're working to be more proper, I'll be working to strengthen myself, that I might become a greater knight than you. Huh. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm pretty tough. But, I guess if anyone could beat me, it'd probably be you, Ingrid. Guaranteed. Thank you, Raphael. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Bernan has a support with Hilda. Oh dear, I'm thirsty again. If only I had a drink. I have some tea. You are welcome to drink some. Oh dear, I forgot to get my... I found it. Here it is. So he's just 100% oh on top of I things. I didn't return my library book. I returned your book a little while ago. Oh, thank you. Ferdinand, how did you get so good at doing things for me? It's like you know what I need before I do. 
I have lots of practice fielding your requests. All I need to do is think for a bit, and I know what you need. I can practically read your mind. Oh, you know what it's like in here, huh? Okay, tell me what I'm thinking about right now. Hmm, you want a snack. Sorry, nice try. Actually, I was thinking... I've become quite fond of you. I suppose that is inevitable. I am rather fond of you as well. I find your laziness endearing. Hey, the fond thing was just a joke. Really, I was thinking about tea. Kind of thirsty. I admire you, Hilda. You what? I said I admire you. You are gifted and accomplished. I used to underestimate you. I said I was kidding, didn't I? This is all a bit... You feign sloth to obscure the considerable breadth and depth of your talents. Such delicate discretion, such noble prudence. If only I could emulate it. I've never been called prudent before, but I like hearing you say it. Thank you. You're good at giving compliments. In return for all your help, I promise that I'll keep being prudent. I appreciate that. Shall we go? Huh? Go where? I thought you wanted some tea. The dining hall is the place for that. Oh, Ferdinand, you're too kind. <laughs> Interesting. Hilda and Cyril. Hi, Cyril. Starting to clean, huh? Hilda? Personally, I'm all worn out from carrying water and fodder for the horses. I'm going to rest here a sec. Whoa. Tired? Water? Horses? Are you saying you did work all by yourself? No. What else was I supposed to do? You weren't here to help. Okay, I get it. You did the work because you couldn't find nobody else to do it for you. I was waiting for you, because look! A letter? I told you I'm always getting letters from my brother. I wrote about you and a couple of mine. You're talking about me behind my back? Honestly, you're so... We didn't say anything bad. In fact, I... Well... Listen up. Here's what my brother wrote. Be he Almiron or no, any young man with compassion and good conduct is worthy of respect. Character is what really matters, not the place of one's birth. Huh, that's pretty nice. Especially since it was from a noble who battles Almirons. Right? He's a funny one, but for the first time, I really respect him. So thoughtful and tolerant. That letter makes me happy. A lot of people look down on me just because I'm all Myron. So, you know, it's nice to hear somebody accept me as just another person. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I've accepted you from the start. I mean, you're so helpful. You do everything I ask. That's not acceptance. That's relying on somebody else to do your work. What you ought to do is be a grown-up who your brother doesn't need to worry about so much. I'm plenty grown-up. I just brought food and water for the horses, all on my own. Being proud of doing what you're supposed to be doing just means you're lazy the rest of the time. Though, I gotta admit, being relied on is kinda nice. In that case, from now on, I'll rely on you even more. Let's see. First, I need you to... Well, time to get back to work. <laughs> hey, hold up! Not having any of that. We have one more with... Cyril and Sedith. Hey, Sedith. I got a delivery for you. Thank you, Cyril. Would you mind waiting just a moment for me to confirm the contents? Sure thing. All seems to be accounted for. I lack the time to handle tasks of this kind myself. I appreciate you making the effort. 
Is there anything I can assist you with? Do you have any concerns? Concerns? Nah, I'm happy just working for Lady Rhea. I got a way better life now than I ever did before. If your better life is this frugal, I have to wonder what your previous experience was like. It must not have been easy before you came to us. But you should know that is in the past now. You are young, you should be enjoying life. Do not allow your past to overshadow that. Is there nothing you desire? We will support you in any way we can. Really, there's nothing. Except... Nah, it's okay. Except... I don't got anywhere else to go, and I just want to be able to stay here forever. This place Lady Rhea gave me, it's the only place I know to call home. I will keep that in mind. Well, I got work to do. Excuse me. Of course. I apologize for delaying you. Finally. Now, since some people are level 30 or above, you can actually check certifications. We don't have any master seals, no. Marketplace. Solve my problem. That's a good stuff. And we can easily grab more as well. So first off, you good memory. More magic usage. It's all thanks to hard work. Oh no stat bon bonuses. This has higher strength. Dang it. Next time. Oh, I should have saved. Master seals aren't plentiful yet. Oh well, it's too late now. Uh, how much renown do we have? I'm not sure how much we need for those things, but I'm pretty sure we can get it. 50 Merchant to the Abyss. We'll start off with talking with the people here. Although I don't know if or when it's going to split the dialogue down there. Like, what they talk about. Professor, uh, hey you, listen up. He's wearing I've got blue. got something to report. It's you. You're still alive. It's been five whole years, hasn't it? Time flies when you're standing guard. That's right. I've been here the whole time. Day in and day out. Not like I have anywhere else to be. Seems to me things are pretty tough up top anyhow. These days it's probably cozier down here than it is up there. How's that for a change of pace? Uh... Yes. A lot of folks have cleared out. A lot of folks cleared out once the fighting started. People are saying it was the church that used to keep order around here. But it's Yuri who's saving us from complete chaos. Alright, down we go. Somebody's over here. Hey, Baldus. The skills are sharp as ever. The past five years have been so chaotic, even the bounty hunters backed off. I kind of missed the chase. I don't have family ties worth fighting for, so these muscles are up for grabs. Use me as you see fit, pal. Counting on you. You're a smart one. Just point me at a problem and I'll smash it up for you. If you're worried my skills have dulled from disuse, think again. I've been fighting thieves to stay sharp. You quest. A favor to ask. He's at the throat. He's, he's throat. Request from Baldur concerning thieves in your phone as well. He would appreciate help with dealing with them. 
I think that's the weird one where, like, they're all Wyvern Lords. Yeah, I can only get five. Um, can we... we have enough to get over... can spend money so we have enough to grab all the Master Seals in one go. Finish, and I have a lot of these. There we go. Offer a noun, items, convoy, all the Master Seals. Give. Are sticking around. You're welcome. It wasn't easy. I've been kind of lonely. As you might have noticed, we've lost a few people down here. Seems decently well, populated me. Uh, the fortune teller thing. Probably don't know. You've been snoozing a while, so allow me to fill you in. There's a madman roaming Fargus. Imperial troops entering kingdom settlements are destroyed seemingly overnight. Townspeople on the front lines are terrified. Yet they simultaneously treat this as though he's some sort of hero, blazing through the land. Can't imagine their surprise when they realized it was their own prince. Huh, that's new. There was reason to come down here after all. Why, we see her. Why, hello there. Bye, we see her. soon now. Hey, Constance. <laughs> You have the look of someone relieved to see me. Before you ask, yes, my superior spellcraft is yours. It's your reward for waiting so patiently for me. It would help me a lot. Your quick acceptance of the truth is gratifying. But my assistance has a price. I expect you to aid me in fulfilling my dream of restoring House Nouvelle. Maybe someday. Bye. Hey, happy. Thanks for giving me a hand. Let's see, Constance. Motivation. <laughs> yes. Back to the entrance. I gotta get out of here. So who don't we have is the question. Out of all of our units, we don't have... We don't have Dudu. I'm guessing we also don't have Lorenz. No, that, that takes too long to load. Yep, don't see Lawrence. Hey, Anna. Let's talk to you first. Need a favor. I've got a favor to ask. Um, search for a remnant of the ritual you found to add to their collection. Uh. Find additions. What? What do you require? Farewell. Hello there. 
there. Just gonna stockpile this back one, on yes. these. I think. Return soon, please. Yeah, no. I mean, there's unrest. Ever. I hope. Hey, how about a favor? Oh, we there's can do it automatically. Ruined. Oh, hey, greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. You know, it's such a thrill to be able to greet you like this again. I almost died as well in the battle five years ago, but I won't allow any enemies to get into this place again. I promise you that. Even if the Death Knight shows up, I'll be sure to... Well, for now, I'll keep training so I can eventually feel confident that I can stop him. You'll make it someday. Hey. I must fulfill my purpose. I've given up on ever seeing you again. Where have you been hiding? Anyway, now that we're reunited in the land of the living, I must fulfill my promise. Right, the promise. That's right. I promised the captain I'd protect you in his stead. And now I'll make good on my word. I'm gonna need some help. Do you have time for a request? Catch the big one. Okay. Because it's time to do some fishing for some renown. Hello there. This one, yes? I think this one, yes? I think it returns I'll catch soon, it. please. It'd be easy. Mm. I have plenty of experience catching fish. Sure we're looking for like the purple one. Found it. You've done me a great service. Yeah. I should probably keep things to myself, but in all honesty, what matters to me more than anything is ensuring a peaceful, quiet future for my parents. I don't care about the kingdom. I simply want to remove the threat of the Empire. Because of this, Dimitri's fixation on Edelgard is convenient to me. I fight for my own reasons and no others. Maybe... Hello. Are the plants? No Rocky Burdox? I'm disappointed. Keep forgetting the system. Hmm. Bernie, I've come to talk to you. Return to my domain, my lonely paradise, my realm of exquisite solitude. <laughs> huh, Professor? Is that um? Is that you? You um? You didn't hear that just now, did you? You're what? Right. You didn't. Well, I'm um, good. Professor. Hey, Felix. Finally, I notched a win against you. You crushed me. Oh, please. I scraped by. When we spar, I feel like I'm revisiting my past. Why? It's like training with my brother. He always won. Always. And died before I could win a single bout. From the first time I held a sword, all I wanted was to surpass him. And that's what drove me to become so strong. 
Perhaps it's absurd to say such a thing, but I've spent all these years training for a duel with a corpse. You found an answer to my question. Yes, I suppose I did. I can never again spar with my brother, not unless he climbs out of his grave. Still, I continue my endless pursuit of strength. Maybe because I have a new opponent to measure myself against. Who? You, obviously. I beat you this time, but when we next cross swords, who knows what might happen. It was a close match, not a crushing victory. I know that I can do better. I will surpass you in strength, and then I'll become stronger still. And then? And then, when this war is over, I won't have as many chances to swing my sword. I can hardly imagine that. Anyway, thank you for helping me find an answer to the question you asked all those years ago. Got a bunch of other stuff. Professor. Hey, Caspar. You won't believe what happened. Hey, Professor. You won't believe what happened. I figured I couldn't go back to the Empire after Garrick Mock fell, so I started drifting across the Kingdom and Alliance. Then, I just happened to run into our old class, so we came back to the monastery together. Okay. Hey, Sylvain. Hey. Been a while. Hey, Professor. It's been a while. It's really good to see you again. An awful lot has happened in these past five years. There were so many times I wished you were around. I'm glad you're back. Your skills are worth more than a whole army. If you don't mind... Do something. I have a favor to ask. Do this and search for a list of rare books and to find lists. Consider using, using the archives and abyss to discover new information. It's an easier noun. Hey! Mercedes, you're, you're all so gloomy. I finally managed to meet up with everyone again, but they're all so gloomy. Hey, Professor, care to join me for a cup of tea? We could invite the others and the soldiers. That sounds nice. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, there probably isn't time to bake any treats, though. Oh, I should invite Dimitri to come along as well. Though I don't suppose he'll want to join in. Maybe not. Professor, and off. I'm glad you're back. Forgot to give Sylvain gift if he was not motivated, but he is. You're kidding. Du -du 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 -du. Is, is Dudu really gone? There's so much what the more fuck is happening over there. He was always so tender with the flowers in the greenhouse. <laughs> I wonder how they're doing. O okay, they broke out of the singularity. <laughs> that was weird. Wow. I... Hey, Raphael. Oh, yeah. The Alliance is such a mess. The Alliance is such a mess. How are we supposed to know where's safe and where's not? I should probably just move my little sis and grandpa to Garrick Mach. At least I could keep working on becoming a proper knight without having to worry about them. I gotta find them a house once things calm down a bit. Two missions. This is terrible. I'll yes, it is. So just need information on the other things are skill choice you pers persuade them to join you. Okay. This is terrible. Hey, I could use a hand. Soldiers obtain information about pirates, head to the certain region and take them out. Hey Marianne. I'm not sure anyone needs me. Professor. Is there any reason for me to remain here? I want to be useful, of course, but I'm not sure anyone needs me. Moral support. I need you here. If you really mean that, I will stay and do my best to help. The 
professor. Gilbert is a, is uh, somewhere here. I saw him for a split second. There he is. What's this? Here's how Cyril is go doing. Go for a visit? Yeah. Whew. Time for a breather. Hey, Professor. You've been busy. Yep. Noticed you have been, too. Seems like it's been a real rough day for just about everybody, huh? I've been so busy, I still haven't eaten. I hope there's still food left. Here, have some meat. How come you're carrying that around? Whatever. I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. When you're hungry enough, just about anything tastes good. <sighs> what a day. I need a nap, but I still gotta get the dining hall cleaned up. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. <laughs> Professor, that's funny. You push yourself harder than anybody else. You make me look lazy. Besides, I don't even break a sweat doing this stuff. The day Lady Rhea comes home, I want her to see the monastery the way it was five years ago. That's why I do all this stuff. For her. And the harder I work, the better. Heck, I'd do more than I do now if there were hours in the day. But I can't go without sleep. Tried once. You must think I'm pretty weird, huh, Professor? I'm always on about Lady Rhea, and I'm not even from Fodlan. I bet most people around here think I'm kind of weird. But I'm real grateful for everything Lady Rhea has done for me. It's normal of you to sow such gratitude. That's nice of you to say. Real nice. Thanks, Professor. It's good to know you like me. Helps me feel even more at home. I've heard people say that good folks have a heart of gold. Not real gold, I mean. Just, they always care about everybody else. Even guys like me. Lady Ray is incredible. But I figured you're just the same, Professor. <sighs> okay. I guess I gotta give in and get some sleep. I'll get up extra early to make up for it. Good night, Professor. Good night. <laughs> Hello there. I saw it, so I grabbed it. Okay. Here's to know how Annette is doing over a visit, yeah. Hmm. Oh, hi, Professor. You look down. Do you remember what we talked about before? About doing my best to not do my best? Well, I've been pretty busy recently, and despite my best efforts, I've been trying way too hard. I was busy all day yesterday with training and work. I just couldn't help myself. That's why I decided to take a day off today. It's just, now that I have a day off, I don't know what to do with myself. Please, you have to help me. What should I do? Nothing. I can't relax if I'm doing nothing. I need something to keep me occupied or I'll go nuts. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm cut out for not doing my best. Oh! You're a professor. You must know some secret technique for deep relaxation, right? If you do, please teach me. I'm begging you. I'm at my wit's end. You do nothing. I woke up to tea. Got it. I'll try that right now. Mm, this candy is so sweet and delicious, and it goes so well with piping hot tea. Oh, and speaking of the tea, your brewing skills are incredible. I'd love to be able to make such nice tea, but... Oh, Professor, will you teach me how to brew tea like this? I'll do my best to learn, and then I'll make delicious tea for you as thanks. Is this doing your best? Oh, uh, sorry. Back to my old tricks, it seems. So, oh, why is it so difficult to not do my best? I try and try to not try, but it just doesn't work. Just be yourself. Professor? 
You're right. Doing nothing is just not my style. To be myself, I've got to do my best every day. That's spirit. Okay. Then you really must teach me how to make such delicious tea. You will, won't you? Please. Oh, and also, well, thank you. You've listened to me and helped me face my troubles. <laughs> now I feel like I can talk to you about anything. Honestly, I wish we could go on drinking tea like this forever. Uh, go, go there. Hey, Hilda. That reminds me. Not for you. Garrig Mock is a mess. So is Dimitri, honestly. If not for you arriving, Professor, I'd be heading home about now. Though staying here is still more appealing than living with my big brother. <laughs> oh. Garrig, if not those. There you go. Here's. I'm rather impressed so many of us made it. The promise was made five years ago, but I must say I'm rather impressed by how many of us managed to make it. Personally, I only showed up because I hope to see you again, Professor. How do you know I've about the promise? I've been with my family in the Empire until recently. I admit to feeling a little guilty betraying Her Majesty, but only a little. Now that we're all together again, I suppose the fighting will begin soon. Hey, Ingrid. Hey. I'm sure now we can. These past five years, many kingdom houses have become vassals of the Empire. The major houses of Fraldarius, Gautier, Karen, and my own family, Galatea, remain loyal. But the lords of the minor domains in the West have almost entirely defected. After all the royal family has done for them, they respond with betrayal, and to think they have the gall to call themselves nobles. But we still have His Highness, and you, Professor. I'm sure we can take back the Kingdom's lands. Thank you very much. Yeah, anybody else here? Petra's here. I have certainty. Edelgard is controlling the Empire. She is putting the pressure on the Kingdom and Alliance. Empire and religion are at open war. It will be difficult for us at first, but corrupt nobles are many. That means the common people will rebel and be joining our side. With you, Professor, the battle tides will, uh, will turn. I have certainty. I'm just going to teleport right in here. Yeah. Hey, Leone. Do everything I can to protect you. I'm so glad I found you here, Professor. Now I don't have to worry about what to do with myself. Captain Gerald told me to look out for you after all. So now my purpose is clear. I'll do everything I can to protect you. Advanced Sword Tournament. Fire is Felix. They do not have a very high chance of hitting them. You have Good start. My he got a lethality crit. One to remember. It was meant to be. Percentage chances. I'll cut you down. Eh. All right, next. He looks one. There is no more. We got a silver sword plus. 
that we can just give to whoever. Hey, Blaine. Glad, I am so glad you are unharmed. <sighs> Professor, I am so glad you are unharmed. No matter the path you walk, I will be with you every step of the way. Anything you ask of me, I shall see it through. You saved my life, and I am in your debt. You miss the Millennium Festival. During the Millennium Festival, the leaders of all territories were supposed to gather together and pledge perpetual peace. But now that hope has been dashed, thanks to the Emperor's actions. The Alliance is also divided on the subject of the Empire, so internal conflicts are a regular occurrence. Is there anybody over there? Nope. Jameer is in the uh, hey, uh, area here. Hey, hey. Uh, if you're around, I'm more of a mercenary than a knight these days. I work to get paid. I never was too attached to Fodlan. I was considering leaving soon, but I might change my mind if you're around. I don't think you've ever seen right. her there sitting at the uh, fire. Professor. Hey, Ash. Oh, hey, Professor. Something going on? Actually, I ran into that thief while I was shopping just now. Thief? Maybe you don't remember. It's been quite a while. The man who stole the book from that market stall. I saw him on the street with his kid. They were both so grateful. It's a really nice feeling. Glad it all worked out. Yeah, but... Uh, it did seem like they were still having trouble getting by. I guess what you said to me back then was right. My actions didn't really solve the problem. I can't help everyone no matter how much I try. If I had the money or power, maybe. But I don't. You'll get there. No need to rush. You know, a long time ago, Lenato said nearly the same thing to me. I think it was when I tried to look after the horses all on my own. <laughs> I really messed that up. He said, you're not quite ready for this yet, but there's no need to rush. I know I can't help very many people right now, but I think doing what I can for those I see in front of me is still worthwhile. I have to believe that, at least. It's just like you, Ash. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring to hear. What about you, Professor? Has anything been troubling you lately? I'd be happy to help, as long as it's not looking after horses. <laughs> you might not want to trust me with that. Nothing in particular has been bothering me, no. Hey, don't be that way. There's got to be something. It doesn't have to be serious. I genuinely enjoy helping people. It's a great feeling making someone smile. So if there's anything I can do for you, I want to do it because I care about you. You care about me, huh? I do. It's probably because you remind me so much of Lenato. So what'll it be? How can I help? Want help me cook? Of course. I'd be glad to cook with you. <laughs> Probably people to talk to. Mm. Okay. Hey, soldier. I'm the thinking... Alliance is in bad shape. In the Alliance, the Lords have been at odds, so peace and prosperity have declined there as well. In particular, bandits have been appearing in large numbers near the Great Bridge of Murden. Rumor has it that the Domain's Lord, someone by the name of Acheron, is a completely ineffectual leader. The Acheron. Oh. Yes. Zedith has maintained order. During his search for her grace, the Archbishop, Zedith has visited churches all across the land. It served to demonstrate to the devout across Fodlan that the Church of Seros is still going strong. As a result, the faithful are not currently in a state of chaos. All right, before we head up there, I am going to head to the abyss first because there is that one side quest that requires going to the library.
If I don't do it, I'll probably end up forgetting. And then I'll forget it again. And again. Professor! Oh, hey, look, that thing I was looking for. Bye, Abyss. There we go. Who do I miss talking to? Annette? Where's Annette? Huh? My savior, thank you. Am I just missing her? Like, where is she? Is she supposed to be in here? Is it that dot right outside? There she is, okay. His Highness was right. Now that I think about it, His Highness was right. We probably don't have time to waste on cleaning. Maybe I wasn't taking the situation seriously enough. After all, the Imperial Army could be showing up at any time. I was just so happy to see you again. And everyone else, too. Maybe I got carried away. Cleaning is important. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose Lady Rhea would be pretty shocked if she came back to find the place filthy. So, are we going to get a story about the eye patch? And possibly suss out why exactly he doesn't have the eye patch in the Edelgard route? I'm interested in cooking, but I can't seem to get any better at it. What should I do to improve my cooking? Practicing, you'll get the hang of it. Dang nuts. <laughs> Like I'm in a dream. Oh, Professor. Seeing everyone together He's again. Right you today. It's like I'm in a dream. I feel it's time for me to forge my own path and find my own place in this world. Can't read that. Eyesight's too bad. Uh, what about your family? Are they okay? Yes. They're in the Alliance, but they're merchants. So they have the means to escape if need be. Hey, Dimitri, how you doing? Yeah, he's doing. Hey, Felix. I have a request. Hello. I have a request concerning that creature. I can hardly look at the thing in the state it's in. Do something about it. I'll see what I can do. Please do. We tracked the boar for five years. I thought he was dead. In the state he's in, he might as well be. He's gotten better at killing people. And in exchange, surrendered what little humanity he had. Now I have to see. Can we select him for this? Nope, he's not selectable. It would be funny if he was. He's probably not available for meals either. Oh, good. Thanks. Any other blips on the map? Nope. 
Gotta check. Nope, he doesn't want to eat. He doesn't want to sleep. He doesn't want to talk. Forgot to do that support conversation. Let's see. Hello. Monks have left. It seems that in the last five years, the monks here have left this place for the town below. However, once they learn of our return, perhaps they'll come back. I hope the monastery can return to normal someday. Ooh, owl feather. Professor. Hi, Ingrid. Apologies for bothering you so late. I just really wanted to speak with you. I'm happy to listen. Thank you. You see, I've been feeling conflicted about my future. It may seem petty to worry about such things in the middle of a war like this. I don't think it's petty. This isn't something I open up about with many people. Feeling such a sense of inner turmoil while a war rages on, and others are fighting with all they have, well, it feels a little selfish. The truth is, I've wanted to be a knight ever since I was a small child. Not just any knight. Like one you might find serving within the castle guard, but a true knight, one serving a master. However, my father has always had different plans for me. He wants me to marry for the benefit of the Galatea family. You don't have to do what you, what you don't want to. Defying my father feels wrong. I've seen how he struggled over the years. His burden has always been far greater than any I've had to bear myself. While he fed me extravagant meals, he subsisted on meager portions and watered down soups. He never once complained, even though he must have been starving. Knowing his sacrifices, I've never been able to tell him of my dream of becoming a knight. Now that this war has begun, my father has allowed me to fight for my homeland. But even if I do become a knight, I feel an unease deep within me. I fear I will never escape this guilt I carry. That I have shunned my duty as a noble. Sometimes there's no avoiding such complications. Yes, I know. All I can do is accept this inner turmoil. <laughs> Even with the academy days long behind us, you're still a professor through and through. Always listening to others' troubles and offering up your wisdom. I really am grateful for all that you do for us, Professor. I hope you'll always be- Oops. Fuck. Ruined it. Accidentally pressed the A button. Worst possible timing. Ugh. Hate when I do that. Oh, yeah. Hi, Cyril. Gonna keep it spotless. I don't know anything about rebuilding, but I can sure do my best to clean up the mess. I'm gonna keep Lady Rhea's room <clears throat> spotless so she can use it right away whenever she gets back. Damn, can't teach flying. Hey, Dorothea. La, 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 la. Professor! Oh, my. It's so good to see you. These days, so many old friends seem to be disappearing. But you, you're here. It's incredible to see you again after five years. I have a feeling your name will go down in history. All right. Last floor. Hmm. Catherine? In Lady, Lady Leia's Leia. absence, I will follow you. That's what she would want me to do. Know that wherever you might lead us, I'll continue searching for Lady Rhea. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Good, because I will not budge on that point. Welcome back, Professor. Seth is probably in his office. 
Smith. Yep. It's a pleasure to see you again. Five long years I've searched for you and the Archbishop. It is a pleasure to see you again. The Church of Seros will follow you from now on. But please do not abandon the search for Lady Rhea. Do whatever it takes to find her. Thank you. I know the battles ahead will be dire, but we will support you with all our strength. Bye. What do you say? We're asleep for five whole years? Thankfully, it appears the records and equipment I need for my research have not been damaged. I am most curious, though. You say you were asleep for five whole years. Incredible. Perhaps this is another effect of your crest. I do look forward to investigating you in greater detail. We can talk about that. Wonderful news. I am most excited to begin. We must find the time, of course. Hey, Manuela. Hello, sir? My professor. My professor? You haven't changed a bit. Quite literally. At your age, I'd expect your whole demeanor to have changed greatly over five years. Though, I suppose I haven't changed either, right? Thank you for noticing, by the way. Ah, just the two of us, forever young. <laughs> oh, let me have my fun. Flying. Really? Listen. I'll always be a noble. I have lost my dominion. My nobility may seem like nothing more than a title, but I will never lose my noble heart. I will stop Edelgard, even if it costs me my life. I have turned my blade against her now. I cannot go back on that decision. Professor, do you think I chose the wrong path? You're with me. You are right. Being with me is never the wrong path. Okay, so Gilbert is the supply guy. We have given proper burial to the Imperial soldiers killed in the monastery. The ones who were sent to investigate the thieves. Already, rumors spread that they were utterly annihilated. So regardless of whether there are spies observing us, the Imperial Army will know of this soon enough. Your Highness, Dimitri, how could you be so reckless? I have a request. Yep. Not sure if I can complete it, but... Yeah. We have a gift on so Rick, your heart. Yay, everything becomes difficult to tell. So we're no longer wor worrying about that anymore. Thank you. Alright, who, who can possibly give flying experience? Highly doubt it, but we'll check Felix. Hey, he's got. Yep. Metro's a definite maybe. It'll imp but go with you. Nope. They have to be higher than our own. Professor. Sylvain's basically hey, the last hey, shot at it. An awful I'm glad you're back. Nope, he only has writing. Okay. You gotta do something with it. Hey, Caspar, you have heavy armor and crane? Depend. Nope, just punching. Hey, I figured I could then. You know what? Advanced drills. Let's get up to D plus, why not? Doesn't this hurt. Uh, Aloise is down by the fish.
can't remember if Anna has anything good. Uh, bows, and that's pretty much all that we're currently leveling. could teach something. I can't remember what her flying is even at. That right there, it's not those. Nope. Axes. Okay. Ingrid could, could probably the teach it. After all, but we still there we go. Finally. Finish exploring. All right, high priority. Got to get Gilbert. You are going to enjoy your company. You have no say in the matter. He's good with spears and axes. Okay. His authority is a bit low. That was good exercise. I would like. Oh. I would like to do this again sometime, Professor. Getting close to A plus. So helpful. Thanks. That was so Dimitri doesn't even want training. So he lost our two house specific units for everything but fighting. Interesting. It was not Of course I got it. I need to butter me up. It was not Dimitri ain't gonna wanna do shit until he deals with this unchecked hatred. Yeah. That's what it seems to be. That was challenging. I feel like I've grown a bunch. I got it? Nice! I knew I could get it. Oh, thanks, Professor. That's really nice of you to say. I got... Still got two more. Uh, I think he needs... Some more horse, yeah. Ooh, nice percentage. Gotta go for the low-hanging fruit jokes. Barely can even call them jokes. I've learned a lot. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> You're making me blush. This. You know, with all that doom and gloom, I know the old Dimitri still lurks away deep down inside. Just have to take off that eye patch. That's enough. Wow, I seem to be on a roll. Hey, that was useful. Nobody's leveling up a skill they're maxed out in, right? Yeah, it's looking good. Um, I don't think he needs spears anymore. He only needs spears at C rank. 
but your goals can be writing and writing. Aren't you getting horse levels again? Oh yeah, because it's useless to get levels for uh, other stuff. Let's do axes and heavy armor, see what happens. Her defense is like decently high. And I highly doubt we'll get high enough to actually hit fortress knight levels, but if we can get that, that's a hilarious defense increase. For basically free. And she's getting flying, so she can class into that as well. Wyvern Lord. Um. Oops. Your Fortress Knight. Gives you Axe Fair. We're not going to be using it too much, so let's just keep you with Axes. Axes and Authority. Working on that, working on that. There's something I'd like to ask you. Being the cathedral in such a rundown state makes me feel so sorry for the goddess. As soon as this war is finally over, I'm going to devote myself to making this place more beautiful than ever. Let's plant flowers to make it more colorful. Oh, of course. Professor. Whatever you want, Ignatz. You do you, buddy. Gilbert would like to speak with me. Ooh. I am sorry to make you tag along with my shopping trip like this. You are very kind to offer your help, even though this is my duty. I'm happy to help. In return, I will gladly come to your aid when you need it someday. Though I fear there may not be so many things I can help you with. Could you help me with help with my combat training? I would be glad to. However, I would likely learn more from you than you would from me. You made a living as a mercenary under Captain Gerald's guidance. As a comparatively new member of the Knights of Seros, I was not so familiar with his past exploits. Yet, clashing swords with him, even just a handful of times, was enough for his abilities to astound me. You, as one trained by him, must have those same great talents. I have devoted my life to the path of a knight, yet I find your mercenary experience lends your blade... Hmm. Even in dark times such as these, children can find joy in life. I never knew you could smile, Gilbert. Was I smiling? Please, forget you saw that. I do not have the right to such pleasures. You're way too hard on yourself. The right? Indeed. For those we have lost will never be able to smile again. I am sorry. I did not mean to trouble you with such talk. Come, let us head back. We're gonna make him so many friends. <laughs> He's gonna be so happy by the end of this playthrough. It's been years since the last time we did something together, Father. Remain calm, focused, think before acting. Don't make fun of me. I know that. That went pretty well, I guess. I had fun, Father. Oh, you did? That's good. I smiled.
Nothing. St. Cyril's Day is today. Okay. I hope this singing with up. He'll always smile when it comes to his daughter. Now let's try this again. Nice. What do we get? I must continue to work hard. We actually got nothing out of that. That's kind of surprising. Curiosity, High Lord. I don't think he has any special movement stuff. Yeah, he only has five movement. Very interesting, though. How it's just there, randomly. In the first paralogue mission post time skip on all but one route. Alright, let's get to battling a little bit. Weather veins of Fodlan, available until 524. Plenty of time. Level 31, so we should wait. Battle at Grander Field. So let's just do this one. This rare enemies. Assuming since Dimitri's on the list, he'll probably be free for use, but since he can't build up any supports, it's not really worth keeping him along. Might as well use other people in place of him. For now. Hmm. I don't think we've ever had a random mission on this field. And the, and the and the burb has Parthia, and is right next to a bunch of annoying enemies. In addition, we have trade secrets: twenty-five speed, forty-four speed. Not even close. Let's see how much we could actually give him. Not much, I'm sure. We can increase the speed by six. Which is not enough. Because he would need seven more speed in order to actually steal from the guy. So that's just one enemy we can't steal from. Well, Dimitri's not locking himself in the party, so he can just chill for a bit. Gilbert, get in here. Who can you support with? He actually has a decent number of supports. Dimitri, Ash, Annette, Hanneman, Manuela, Alois, and Catherine. He supports with the other teachers. So we won't, we're, we're going to want to get his quickly as possible. Renan, what are you doing in here? Be 
Felix. Dorothea A plus support. Okay, let's go for that. Ash has an A support with Caspar, so we'll get that. Alright, we got Constance to blow up some of these guys over here. Just put you on that side. a better battalion. His Saros Armored Company is garbage. Oh. Our next best is Saros Armored Company, but, uh... Maxed out. Saros Pegasus Company is actually pretty good. One Less than one protection, but it gives resilience and avoid instead of minus avoid. Since we don't have the do, he'll take the shield. And a ranged option. I'm sure we have a hand axe somewhere. doesn't have steel on. Yep. There we go. I'll cut through. I'm your girl. The best part about this is that I think this lets him keep his uh avoid because he got his alert stance up in the first turn. Yep, he keeps it. Sunshine. I forgot to return animations off. I also forgot to put every single person into their post time skip outfits rather than the uh, class defaults. What's my strategy? We don't need the default outfits. We want the cool new ones. I'd be honored. Just like that. Ready when you are. Service. 
no mercy. You just rescue her and put her in the trees. Could have given her Nosferatu as well, but too late for that. Shall we? I have to, okay? What's the plan? The worst case is that we just have to steal the kill. Getting hit by these. Pointless. Finally, they actually missed a 30% hit. What the fuck? Um. Just be careful. Some stride shenanigans. One space short than what I want. We'll get the break here. Is this my last stand? No crit. 48 HP. Got part, yeah. Worth a shot. Well, I don't want anything to do with the, uh, the top here. Shove. 
people people definitely need healing at the moment. Yeah, these, What's the plan? These jerks have pass. Forgot about that. I feel like you might as well just wait. Fade it out. Here they come. Hey, funny gambit. Maybe I'm not a total waste. Three speed. I didn't realize his speed was that low. Uh, more. That is insane. Three speed. Whoa. The results. Nice. Stronger, faster, never enough. Thanks. Nailed it. Oh yeah, he doesn't have a crest stone. That's why he's losing HP. He's wielding the shield. Forgot about that little detail. Anyway, this is available for like four months, so quest time. And the enemies will be weak, so we can actually steal the uh, trade secrets from these guys, I think. Oh yeah, they're both on the right side. Both have 24 speed. That's a lot of bowmen. 
Are they all rain? All of them are ranged units. Okay. That's a little dumb. Gilbert, you got Aloise C. Now let's give you Hanneman C. Medition, items, Gilbert. Give you literally any one of these. still has Dorothy A+. Actually, you know what? Um, no, yeah, we'll do Dorothy A+. It'll be time for other ones. Time. I'll keep moving forward. What's my strategy? Long range assassin. What's the plan? Shall we? I'll cut through. At your service. Let's go. Ready when you are. Oh, I forgot. We forgot to unequip the uh, thing. We're gonna have to roll it back. This. Let's... Item and equip. There. We also got a free dance. In. Shall we? Let's go. At your service. There. Ready when you now are. Now should work as intended. <laughs> this. damage, but Poison Strike is always fun. Anyway, I'll take this from you. Yeah. 
some HP. What's the plan? What's my strategy? Um, where he is positioned, only one of them can attack him, so he's good. I didn't re-equip the thingy. At least uh, the trade secrets guy didn't die. Now he has our permission to die. Curiosity, how much damage do you deal? 25 damage. That is surprisingly little. Level 48. 40 magic, okay. My work's not done. Still going up. to slow down. Wow, oh, chip damage. That does it. I'm not afraid. Forget about those little What's the plan? Annoyances. The strikes? Here we go. At your service. And you can take the hit this time. Leap. I'd be honored. I'm your girl. My orders. Yes. He dodged this time. Interesting. I'll cut through. Fires at the Sreng region. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it's this map. Lord Masters with 35 speed. Felix now, I believe, has 36? 39. He had 38 before. Assassins just have, like, absurd speed gross. Gilbert, you want to hang out with Manuela. Those are some funky looking pirates. Yeah, I agree. Must be from somewhere out east or something. We unlocked uh, Dorothy A+. Nice. Let's throw a uh, set on him now. Ash still trying to get Caspar A. You know the game Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th, right? I know about Dead by Daylight, and I've never played it, though. I also know it's going to be, like, free for a little bit or something. I'm your girl. Thanks. I'd be honored. Ouch. Even the weakened sword guys do a lot of damage. Or weaker, not weakened. But I know someone's making a Dragon Ball version of it. What? Very well, then. What? I, don't, I, I have no idea what that even means. Dragon Ball Breakers? What does that even mean? I'll protect no everyone. magic. Ready when you are. Service. I've seen gameplay of Dead by Daylight. Yeah, it's a very slow, asymmetrical game where people have to get captured by the villain in order for them to win. Otherwise, the heroes have to activate generators and stuff in order to... Not have themselves get killed. Let's go. What's the plan? Some, some along those lines. How the hell does that translate into Shall a we? Dragon Ball format? There is no universe I can think of where that makes any sense. Imagine the survivors are normal humans with no powers, and the mass murderers trying to kill them are all villains like Cell. 
there's no way the gameplay translates into something that's actually faithful to the series. It can't happen. I mean, you can make a game for it, but it's not faithful to the series. I can always depend on you. You make me feel safe. Didn't mark the trade secret people. Oh good, they didn't both die. But I have to reposition you. I'm gonna look this up. This sounds like a load of bullshit. Dragon Ball Breakers, closed beta test info. So it's an actual thing. Fuck is Hype Beast. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I have to fucking see this. I want to see how fast the villains are moving. So villains actually move decently fast. It's like, it's reminiscent of a lot of the... Uh, what would you call it? The fighting games, pretty much. It looks good. But the whole idea is really fucking stupid. We saw a breakdown video of how it all works. There's an 11 minute video, I just skimmed through it. It is honestly one of the more stupid things I have seen in the series. That, that, I mean, that's come out of the series, I mean. It just looks like... It's 100% something I would never play. I don't care for Dead, Light, Dead by Daylight. I, like, the actual one that people care about. I have no motivation to play it. So this thing, I also don't have any motivation to play it. It's just especially weird. That's a I mean, if it's a good game, more power to them, but I can't see myself ever getting into it or caring about it. 32 attack speed, 29. We don't get doubled, that's surprising. Hopefully you don't get a lethality kill. I have no idea why they go for the water. Like, I think their movement is worse in the water. Yeah, it's worse in the water. Is it because... Oh. It's because the beach gives a minus two to defense. In addition to uh, all the other gar garbage. That's why they're going on the water.
I hate sand maps. Is that it? Only one of them can hit Cyril, so let's see if he'll get a crit. 3% chance of critting. I don't really like that that much. Not so fast. That's unlucky. That's what we have you for. I like how his, avo his avoid is just absurdly high all the time, yet he keeps getting hit by everybody. He just... everything hits him. It's so... so dumb. Boy, what are you doing? Oops. My orders? Worth it. Worth the rollback. I'm great. What's the plan? I'll cut through. Really should be I'd having be him honored. use that on Ash, actually. What's my strategy? Much appreciated. Oh, he already has that. Okay. No point to that then. <laughs>
easy mission. We got one more easy mission after this. We get Renown and a bunch of useless battalions out of it. Worth it. Oh, I thought we had one more. Thank you, Professor. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> yes. Now, now I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Thanks for your time. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Gilbert. I am good, am I? I appreciate the praise, Professor. I would like to do this. I would like. That was. Almost perfection. But we have nobody else that we're using, so there's no point in using the remaining three. Happy's birthday. Thanks. Well done, Annette. Good result. You head back. I'll report this. There you go again. You always try to do everything by yourself. I was expecting that to be the good one, not the perfect one. This will come in handy. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm glad I asked you. Appreciate it. All right, more supports. Let's go. Felix and Dorothea A+. So, Felix, is the tea to your liking? It is. It's nice to relax like this every now and then, isn't it? It is. You said some of your equipment is damaged, didn't you? It is. It is. <laughs> Are you not in the mood to talk? We could discuss your family or what's happening in high society. Flavors of tea? Your favorite jokes? None of those. I already told you, I don't joke. <sighs> of course, only cynicism. <sighs> oh, I know. We're holding a small opera in the cathedral soon. I'll be singing too. If you're interested in... Uh, but of course you aren't. You can sing? I'm sorry. What did you just say? <sighs> can I sing? I was only a diva of the Middle Front Opera Company, that's all. Oh, right. I forgot. You forgot? Am I that uninteresting to you? <sighs> what must you think of me? Your insincere and loud is what I think. But you do make a good sparring partner. That's and what's most a important. good tea companion. Oh. Anyway, when's the concert? It's an opera. And you don't have to come. 
You just invited me. You can't tell me not to come. That's for me to decide. Oh, then you must be there. I'll sing my heart out just for you. I haven't said I'll go. Are you going to come or not? If you keep teasing me, I might just pretend to cry. <laughs> Fine, I'll go. Fantastic. I look forward to it. That was a funny one. Oh, hey, we got Caspar A. Go on, eat up. <laughs> oh, wow, you're really going at it. Got the cat. Still hungry, huh? You're a greedy little fellow. Are those two different cats, or are they the same oh, cat? Here he comes right on time. The food's all ready to go. Huh? Ash, what are you doing here? Uh, Kaspar, I, I was just, uh... Hey, hang on a second. Did you come here to feed the cat, too? Feed? I got, well, I don't know what you're... Wait, did you say two? Is that what you're doing? I have been for a while. I had no idea you were doing the same. I was just worried about the guy. I didn't want someone else to find him and hurt him. I figured it would be best to watch out for him. You know me, defender of the helpless. More importantly, though, what's your excuse? I didn't want him stealing more supplies, so I, I figured I'd take care of him. Guess we're not so different after all, are we? <sighs> yeah, I guess we're not, deep down. Since you're here, why don't you feed this little guy what you brought him? Oh, yeah! I've got something good. Looks like it. Hey, where did you get that? The storehouse. Uh, <laughs> get what? Stolen from the storehouse. It looks awfully fresh. You didn't take that from the kitchen, did you? <whistles> Is that some dried fish and vegetables? Looks like someone's leftovers. Well, I, um, never mind how I got mine. What about yours? Uh, I'm a defender of the helpless. You really think I'd steal some food for a cat? I got it by fighting an old guy in the dining hall. I won it fair and square. What? You started a fight over that? No! The old guy started a fight. Then I took his dinner as a prize. Aw, you love this meat, don't you? And you love when I fight, don't you? Well, this cat's happy, so I'll let you off easy just this once. You're lucky he's so cute. The endings. Ash and Gilbert B. Support. Is something the matter? Your heart does not seem to be in your training today. I'm sorry. Something's been bothering me. Idle thoughts do hinder training. Tell me what bothers you. You were sworn to protect the royal family. But when we met five years ago, you weren't in the kingdom capital. You were in Garrig Mach. What could have made a great knight like you abandon his vow? That is difficult to explain. You are aware of the tragedy of Duska? When the king's party was massacred nine years ago. I am. It affected me too. My brother was suspected of being involved in the attack. And so the church, they... Forgive me. That must be a difficult memory. Why are you apologizing? It's not your fault. I disagree. Had I been by his majesty's side on that day where I was sworn to be, perhaps his majesty would not have lost his life. It all would be different. Is that why you left Fargus? Yes. You may laugh, but I feel I was responsible for everything. I would never laugh at something like that. But I, I do think you should have seen things through to the end. Even if you had to endure dishonor for a while, you could have restored your name. Uh, I'm sorry. That was inconsiderate of me. I got carried away by how much your situation resembles my own. You were adopted by Lord Lonato, correct? I once told you that I wish to protect one thing other than my king, and that is my family. 
my wife and my daughter, both of whom I left behind in the kingdom. Lord Lonato took up his sword for his son, even if that meant turning his back on the goddess. As a father, I cannot condemn Lord Lonato for raising an army. Yet, perhaps he too lost sight of what should be protected, just as I did. I don't understand what you mean. What should Lenato have protected? You, Ash. Because you are also his son. <sighs> You're right. I think I know what I need to protect now. It's been staring me in the face all this time. I don't know why I couldn't see it. I'm Lenato's son. His pride and his wishes are my inheritance. Those are what I should protect. I see. Ash, you will be an excellent knight. It's too early to say that, but I'm willing to learn if you'll teach me. It would be my pleasure to oversee the training of a new generation. <laughs> Annette and Gilbert B. What's wrong, Father? I didn't expect you to summon me. I carved this on a whim. I wish for you to take it, Annette. A wooden doll. You used to make these for me when I was a child. I still do it, when the mood strikes. <laughs> it's so cute. It's... Wait. No. What do you want from me? I want nothing. I was carving and I thought of you. I remembered how happy you would be as a child when I handed one of these dolls to you. I was back then, but I'm not a child anymore. It's too late for this now, Father. It doesn't make me happy anymore. Annette. I... I was so lonely after you left. I was always, always alone. I didn't know where you were or who to turn to for comfort. All I could do was look at the dolls you carved for me and remember you, and weep. If you don't need it, you can throw it away. It is all the same in the end. I am sorry, Annette. I should have given more thought to my actions. Father, wait! No, this won't do at all. It would be better to throw this doll away. You are too cruel, Father. Of course I... I could never throw it away. Kind of heartbreaking, that one. Got a bunch of people seeing support with Gilbert. Why, it's Gilbert. Training on a day off? That man will never change. No arrest, apparently. Is there any need to be so diligent when nobody is watching? Ah, well, at least I can bear witness. <laughs> Professor Hanneman, is there something you need? Ah, uh, you noticed me. No, no, not at all. I was simply observing. I apologize for disturbing you. You've done nothing worthy of apology. Although I fail to understand why you would watch my training. Oh, well, I watch because I find it quite interesting. Your movements are most refined with no unnecessary motions. Elegant is the word, I think. I find it quite satisfying to observe. In fact, I might say I was mesmerized. Is that so? If only you showed a bit more emotion on your face, just to sell the rest of it, you come off a bit tense. Training is difficult, a strain on the body. Surely it is natural for one to be tense. Oh, I know well how difficult training can be. But in your case, it's as though you're punishing yourself. I'm sorry, it's simply how I am. No, no, what do I know of your training? 
My criticism was perhaps unnecessary. Still, I do feel you are too hard on yourself. Would it not be easier to live a little more freely? Find something that makes you happy and embrace it wholeheartedly. It would do you a world of good. I thank you for your advice, Professor Hanneman, but I cannot live as you do. Such a way of life is not permitted to me. Now, if you will pardon me, I will return to my training. Not permitted? I think the only one not permitting you joy, dear Gilbert, is yourself. Next. Is that singing? The blue sea glimmers in the dark. The red canyon calls. Goddess, reach in dreams. To her throne she falls. Well, Gilbert, what do you think? My lady, you were not meant to notice me. Nobody could miss a good man like you. My apologies for interrupting. Please excuse me. No, Gilbert, hold on a moment. You're not disturbing me, truly. I want very much to know what you thought of my singing. The least you can do is tell me. You were lovely. You sounded lovely. Lovely? Is that what you really feel? Please, be honest. Why would you suppose I was dishonest? That is not the look of someone who just heard what they deemed to be lovely. It hurts my confidence when my voice can't even lure a fleeting smile to your face. It's as though my singing voice has died since stepping off the middle franc stage. My Lady Manuela, that could be no further from the truth. If that's the case, then Gilbert, I challenge you to a duel. My singing versus your iron mask. I will break through, and I will see passion in your eyes. Why did she leave so suddenly? And what could she have meant by a duel? Something is surely troubling her. Everyone just wants to make Gilbert lighten up a little bit. He's too serious. Aha! Finally! Nothing? I could have sworn I felt a bite. Regardless, I shall persist! Aloise, you shouted. Is all well? Why, if it isn't Gilbert, everything's splendid. I am fishing, as you can see. Yet you are also raising your voice, which is not conducive to fishing. Well, a fish escaped, so I started shouting. See, they're biting all right. I think I'm reeling them in too slowly. Ho-ho! Another! Ah, nothing again? Why do these darn things elude me? I've been at it since yesterday. Every time I feel a pull on my line, the fish escapes. If I may, Alois, a bit of advice. You lifted the rod as soon as the fish bit. Hmm? Well, yes, of course I did. That way the fish has less time to escape. No, it is the very reason the fish escapes. The fish in this moat know to nibble the bait first. They check if it is safe before biting in earnest. Allow the first pull of the line. Then, when the second pull comes, reel in your prey. Hmm. I've been reeling too quickly. Maybe that's why the little flipper flappers have been getting away. You seem to know your stuff, Gilbert. Do you fancy yourself an angler? In fairness, I am more a theorist than fisherman. I just happen to know some things about this location. Ah, is that so? Well, I'm glad to have met a fellow enthusiast. I fish quite often. He just said often, that. Although He's I not a fishing fish enthusiast, but okay. 
Regardless, color me impressed. A master of arms, but also a master of the fishing rod. I am honored by your compliments, and I believe you could achieve mastery if you attend to the basics. With your permission, I might accompany you on a fishing expedition. Perhaps offer more pointers, if I may. Oh, splendid! You shall be my second fishing mentor. My rise in skill will be astronomical. Second fishing mentor? Who was the first? Sedith, maybe? Sedith doesn't have his poor conversation with him, so probably not. Alright, so... Certifications. That's not guaranteed. Like, we... we we don't we don't have unlimited un, an unlimited supply yet, so we should probably make sure we don't accidentally lose our thing. Got it. Oh. Well, we'll keep him as the archer because I can't remember what you, what we get out of it, but it might be good. So we should probably keep on it. Twenty-seven, twenty-nine, twenty-nine. And we'll just keep we'll just keep her in in that since it has higher strength growth than Falconite, I believe. In fact, we could always just look it up. Heavy three H stat growth. Growth rates. Um, class growth rates. Here we go, master. So, oh, so the Falcon Knight is 10%, whereas the Wyvern Lord is 15%. In addition, you can get, you get a, a little bit more defense from Wyvern Lord. And Falcon Knight gets you a little bit more res speed, resilience, and Charm. Interesting. But, uh, Wyvern Lord. Definitely the better of the two. Some people used up their stuff quite a bit, so let's repair it. We'll buy, we'll rebuy the whatchamacallit, the stones. There's no point in getting the speed carrots. I keep thinking like, oh, I should look that up and try to get some, but it's not worth it. It's never worth it. Everything outspeeds you by the end game, so you might as well just focus into strength, defense, or both. Sir, I am happy to accept your invitation, but... <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I'm at a loss as to what I should talk about. <laughs> Cute. This looks delicious. This is... Yeah. 
Yep. Ooh. After the fighting's done, we should all go on a gourmet's journey around the world. What say you? That sounds like fun. What do you think, Professor? Up for a culinary adventure? I'm always down for that kind of thing. Like, have, like one of my favorite things to do whenever I travel is just to find the good local restaurants. Best part about any good trip. That looks... This is so... One note. With so much changing all the time, I wish something, anything would just stay the same, don't you? Change we're switching for two. I don't know. Gilbert, get over here. Singing is so. Listen to the others and harmonize. Work together. The same in music as on the battlefield. All right. Trying to find the people who can teach what? flying. Yes. Fly the church. Professor, ma, at you no. Ah. Can only think of Ingrid. I think that's the. She's the only person that can actually teach us flying. He's passed the but after all, but we still go find Gilbert and talk to him. He can teach armor, I guess. Oh. Who would think? An owl feather. We have a so Um, nearly forgot this. Hello there. This one, yes? I think. Return soon, please. Didn't use many, but... I can instruct important people first. I very I appreciate that was I would I would I would like Sans plus yeah. get. Who is not? Um. We, we don't really have to train Ash in anything since he got his, uh, his final class. Nothing else we really need to get him.
Maid, on the other hand... Actually, I might as well because I'm curious. Glass. Base. That's... So, here we go. Master, base stats. Those don't help us. Um, here we go. Advanced base stats. So, Fortress Knight's base stats, they have... Base defense of only 17. Although I guess that's the defense tied to the character rather than the class. How do you tell the default things for each of them? I think the only way to tell would be to clap would be to reclass them in the noble or commoner. I would say odds are it doesn't hurt to go for uh, that. I believe Fortress Knight is C rank. Oh no, it's B rank heavy armor. But if we get it to C rank, then we can try out for it. doesn't hurt if it potentially raises their defense. Chances are it won't, but the option will be on the table. As for her, she needs to get flying up. Last remaining, I guess we'll just do Constance, get her horses to C rank. Now she can actually try out for the class. You see, I shall. I do. All right, goals. A or higher. He doesn't have either of them at A or higher. How did this happen? Girl doesn't need to learn flying anymore. So lances and heavy armor says he won't get that naturally. It's stupid to do this, but we'll try it. Professor. Why would you want to not? Learn what I want to teach you. You're, an, you're a pillar of the class. But this. Here's now Gilbert is doing. Go for a visit. Okay. Dear Goddess, please allow His Majesty to rest in peace. Who is it? Oh, Professor. What brings you here at this hour? I heard a voice. I am most sorry for disturbing you. 
The hour is late, Professor. You should be resting in preparation for the day to come. What were you doing? I was offering my prayers to the goddess. It is all that I can do now. I told you I was in service of the royal family, yes? When I was only a young soldier, the king saw fit to make a knight of me. I was given the great honor of guiding and protecting the royal family. Guiding? It was similar to your own work. I was a teacher of sorts. I instructed both King Lambert and Prince Dimitri in the arts of combat, tactics, and academia. I also did all in my power to keep them safe. Until that day, I was unable to fulfill my duty. I was powerless. You mean the tragedy of Dusker? Yes. When I received word of the attack, it was already too late. His Majesty was dead, along with many knights and soldiers. If only I had made it to Dusker more quickly. It is my fault that His Highness Dimitri has become the way he is now. After that, I abandoned my wife and child and fled my homeland. I turned my back on everything I swore to protect. My sins are countless. I will bear the weight of my guilt for as long as I live. Going about this the wrong way. Apologizing to my daughter and wife. Devoting myself to his highness. That is the way to atonement. And yet, even if I am granted the forgiveness of those who still live, praying is all I can do to atone to those who are with us no more. Uh, the dead are gone. You can't help them now. Long ago, there was someone who told me something quite similar. Forgive me. This will not do. As I grow older, I find myself talking endlessly about the past. But it is too late for such things now. I have finished my prayers. We should return. Hmm. Well done, Annette. There you go again. It's within my grasp. I'll try to put this to It seems my prof. There's any certifications, right? Need Sylvain to get like a level. Violet needs to get a level. Kansas needs a level. Cyril needs a level. Hilda needs a few levels. And we're not really playing on using Gilbert all too often. Huh. Is. His Fortress Knight is uh, unique, I think. It has a unique model compared to pretty much every other Fortress Knight. Yeah, it does. It sounded kind of harsh in the end. Well, being hung up on the past is no real way to live. At least that's how I feel about it. Gilbert will eventually move on. He can't spend the rest of his life moping. Yep, I was right. It was this mission. I'll move 
view here. And we could just slide everybody back and let them come to us. We have no trade secrets we have to worry about, so this will be an easy mission. First up, Gilbert. You have priority. Who do you know? Who do you want to be friends with? Um, ah, we have Catherine C. Support. A few people still need to do uh, Catherine supports. Felix can has a support with Sedit. Ash has an A-plus support with Petra. My orders? They have 51 attack. They, almost, they will 110% double him. They also have Kanto. The one saving grace is that they don't have bonuses from the forest while we do. Let's go. I'm your girl. Thanks. I'd be honored. I'll cut through. Faster. Never. Felix is getting pretty strong. Wow, thanks. What's my strategy? Ready when you are. Shall we? What's the plan? At your service. Mount Sylvain. Ooh, he's gonna die. Yep. So What's the plan? Yeah, he needs to get the benefit of the uh, of the service. forest in order to have a chance. All right, Sylvain didn't die. He got hit twice, though. That is a way better result. My orders. That's unlucky. I'm your girl. I'd be honored. I'll cut through. Let's go. Yeah, he, he gave him a curve shot. And he can one shot these guys. Ready when you are. What's my strategy? run like a little baby. The opposite end of the map. Wait for me! 
odds are he'll be able to kill the guy. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't have close counter on. Forgot. sticking together. train going. One HP remaining. Are you really picking the super roundabout way just so you can get to Sylvain? Really? Still more to learn. Rally movement. Well, he doesn't really rally people, so there's not much of a point in that. that came to mind. Uh, there's still one more remaining. Oh, two, or two remaining. Okay. Clouds are just very, very foggy. The situation is dire. Why does it seem like you keep switching to the hand axe? Appreciate it. It just, it just happens. What's the plan? Oh, 
Oh yeah, they already got their B support, so there's no more supports for them to uh, grind out. So I move you back here. Move you here. Although this will actually won't change anything. Oops. Battle in the outskirts. The outskirts of Garrig Mach. Let's learn tonight. Do not put oven on pizza and microwave. What? Uh, Silver Axe. I'm gonna guess you can say, like, oven pizza in microwave. Yeah, I usually don't do that. It comes out all soggy and, like, garbage. Can't type straight. Ugh. Maybe you should lay down. Take some Tums or something. got the B set of support. We've pretty much seen all the other ones. At least you can say you didn't try to make it work. What do you mean you didn't try to make it work? You ate you ate some of it and you're feeling feeling sick. I'd say that didn't turn out very well. Sylvain still has Dorothea A. We want to do some of the lower ones if we can. There we go. And this is perfect for Ingrid, so she can stay as a Wyvern Rider. Get set up. Or Wyvern Lord. We never gave her a Wyvern Rider, did, did we? can't cl really class into it because of uh, her axes, I guess. Yeah, her axes are only at C+. Build, uh, also needs B support from Seta. And A support from Caspar. father is an asshole and just throws whatever he thinks is right for you and be grateful for it. Well, what he thinks and what actually is and what you think are all completely different things. You can't eat these pizzas not without an oven so you gotta give, the, give them away. Yeah, you, you can, like, do oven pizza in a microwave. Shit. Who does he support with? We need to get his supports first, because we want to use him as little as possible. Uh, that's stupid of me. Gilbert isn't, our, Gilbert isn't a unit we want to use the whole time, basically. 
We want to view his supports. But, like, he's basically going to be replaced by Dudu once we get him back. That's why we don't want to use him. We'll throw the cast bar one to the wayside. Gilbert. Okay. He only has his supports with Dimitri in the future. Violet A support. And then B supports with all the other teachers. So Hanuman B. That's what we're going for next. Okay. That's better. My orders? Speaking, speaking of, where the hell is Tall, Dark, and Simpy? Uh, supposedly dead, but considering he has more supports that he has to go through, probably not. I'll cut through. He needs to build up his energy before coming in to destroy all of our enemies for us. Let's go. There we go, Cyril level 30. Not a great this level. Still isn't good enough. I'd be honored. Oh god, he really is Gandorf. What's the plan? I feel like these guys would double him. I'm your girl. At your service. Ready when you are. What's my strategy? Are you going? You have a rest of axe that I that I get to uh, throw in my inventory and never use again. I can't let you run away. I, des I deserve what's cut what's uh, what these enemies are gonna give to me it is rightfully mine I earned this I'm here to help Shot. shot and he just gets a lethality <laughs> I'm all right <laughs> I'm like a guy who steals another's girl but I'm not into her only just making sure the other doesn't have her. No, I'm, I'm not that much of an asshole. I don't NTR people. <laughs> yep.
since you can't do... You can't attack you for free anymore. We'll just lower your strength. Well, actually, some people can attack for free. Fire. Close, but not quite as much damage as we need. He might be able to do it point blank. Yeah. Get him out of here. Snake, baby. Works. Just works. I will no doubt. Eight additional damage. Almost. And even then, it's not a very guaranteed kill. See, can he get this kill? No, he can't. Okay, we, we can screw with this. Do that. Comet Arts, shove. Now we can have our cake and eat it too. He's getting better strength level strength ups with the betrays. minus strength from being a dancer. At least I'm pretty sure it gives minus strength. Um... Or special. Oh, dancer is actually just uh, zero. So, so I thought it was minus uh, strength when I saw it for some reason. Okay, that's honestly fine. So he just has Elix's base stat gross, which are honestly good enough. Maybe I'm not a total waste. One damage short. That was a mistake. Um, that was a horrible mistake. Let's go. Yeah, wrath is uh, shall we? It's very deadly. I don't want to deal with that shit.
Use her to bait him out. Oh, hey. This will be helpful. Useful. I'd be honored. I'll try. I'm your girl. At your service. My orders. What's my strategy? Always. I'll cut Had doing this is like just the fastest way to get his supports. What's the point? Get this kill. Just be careful. Ready when you are. Okay, get this kill. There we go. That was way more effort than it should have been. It's a good thing Fortify is busted. Brains of Robin and the Heart of Corrin. That is fine. Corrin had a stone for her heart? I know he was a, uh, he's a mannequin, but... Shall we? Uh, there we go. That's kill. Needs a little bit more of a push. Why do they do this? I'm great. Your sweet out the mystic willing. Willing to see the good before the bad. Yeah, I, I was, I was, I was uh, joking, but I have a very dry uh, sense of sarcasm, so that probably doesn't help much. Too sick to pick up on that. Fair enough. We'll just let him wait out the turn. That way she gets the kill and Gilbert can continue getting towards the ace support with Violet. 
Honestly, you might as well kill him this turn, in that case. Let's do that. That. Another rally. And another kill. Level 29. Bad level up. <laughs> yep. Got plenty of time for this paralogue. So let's just do battle in the forest. We will we'll be able to get Hilda up to level 30. Don't know if she can get into any of those advanced classes yet, though. Alright, Gilbert. Damn, we didn't even get the B support with Hanuman. Tough sell. I guess Felix needs to be dancing everyone else more often to get the other sports. Yeah, still still needs Sylvain, Mercedes, and Annette. Hilda support was set up. Zero also has peace support was set up. stuff. Oh boy, spellcaster. Shall we? My orders. What's my strategy? I'd be honored. What's the plan? I'm your girl. I'll cut through. I'm grateful. At your service. Let's go. Ready when you are. All right. Doing some damage already. Low percentage hits. My proficiency. Can you 
you kill in one hit? Yep. Goodbye. Now, Sora will probably get hit. Yep. Vengeance? No, we don't. I'll let them move closer. No need to weaken them at the moment. waste his life like that. Aww. That's the way it goes. Level 30. No strength. I sense an improvement. His speed and defense are so low it doesn't make a difference. So sad. I have physics. We want Hilda to get the kill, so we'll just let him get closer, keeping everybody out of range. Ooh, my ears. HP left over. All according to plan. That was not according to plan. Shall we? Let's increase the odds. There we go. Wow. What's the plan? Let's go. What's my strategy? My orders? I'll cut through. I can't wait for the day that I don't see the hearts show up. I'm your girl. Still have yeah. he land that. Level thirty nine. More strength. What he needs. Seems I'm adequately trained. 
still saw the heart. At your service. I'd be honored. Ready when you are. Um, we'll just finish you off. Do a little bit of damage. Get some EXP. Until I can't get it. strategy. <laughs> like, two more kills it looks like will be Can enough to level her up. I'm your girl. I'd be honored. Ready when you are. At your service. Level 49. Got magic. Leave it to me. Let's also, I guess you guys forgot to put everybody back into their post time skip outfits. Next try. Oh, assassinate, my favorite. Dality, if we're being specific. Yeah, she needs one more kill. Might as well drag them down here for that. But one armor knight is gonna be a little bit. What's the plan? Try that again. But this time with success. There we go. Hilla is now level 30. I still have a long way to go. Not the best level, but it gave strength. I'm impressed.
just don't work. It don't work. All right. I'll protect every. Magic is good. Get your damn A support already. It's tall. Seems like we're going to be using Gilbert for a bit. But at least we're doing a good job at keeping most people leveled up. Hey, Gilbert, have some flowers. You have my gratitude. You're wrong. He's talking to himself. It's not like that, Glenn. I swear it. Any love I once had for my stepsister has been tossed aside. Only hatred remains. If I could tear that woman to shreds right this very moment, I would. I don't care if she's the Emperor. It's no different than killing anyone else. So I beg you, all of you, do not worry about my resolve. Please, Father, and you too, Stepmother, do not gaze at me with that look in your eyes. I will bring you her head soon, and when I do, you may finally rest in peace. I know it. Yes, I know it. Slip out of it, Dimitri. What do you want? Everyone's worried about you. I see. We should make haste and prepare to move out at once. I must kill her as soon as possible. We must first prepare. We have no time to leisurely set up camp. If I must, I will go by myself. Pardon the interruption. We must prepare a counterattack at once. The Imperial Army has caught wind of our position. It would seem they were patrolling this place after all. The Imperial Army, is it? Well, well. <laughs> Your Highness. I ask that you please refrain from reckless behavior in battle. It would seem the report that the Knights of Seros have well, returned there she is. was accurate. This is going well, to take some again? effort. Brother, Leish. I heard a rumor that there is a vicious murderer among our enemies. Well, who knows if there's any truth to it? Though I admit we have lost some soldiers recently. Whether he's among them or not, taking on the Knights of Seros is extremely dangerous. You're not ready for the front lines, Flesh. Stay in the back and support us from there. Understood? No! I want to stay with you! I have to- I need you to understand, Flesh. I will come back, I promise. Fine. I trust you, brother. Please, be safe. All units, prepare to attack! And then they attack the next day. <laughs> the 
knew you'd come through. All right, we got a few certifications that can be tied to people. I guess we're just gonna leave Violet as is for now. Ash got that. Ingrid's good. Bella can potentially get that, but it's RNG, so we'll save. See if we get it. You got it. I think she'll get some stats off of it. Yep. One dex. Not what I was thinking. And also, she hasn't been leveling her other class. I've been very bad about that. Zero can get his Wyvern Lord. One resistance. Yeah, he'll class into it. Support. Set it be. Hello, Felix. Training alone again, I see. Spying on me again, I see. It is not my intention to spy. I am merely concerned about you. I do not think you have been keeping your friends at a distance because you dislike them personally. Rather, I think what bothers you is their concept of proper knighthood. Is that not so? <laughs> you really have been watching me closely. You're correct. I don't understand why they revere knighthood. I won't be friends with anyone who believes in that nonsense. Do you feel that way because of what happened in the tragedy of Dusker? I have heard the story. Your brother was one of the royal knights. He gave his life to defend the prince. My brother was doing his job. My father is the real problem. When my brother's armor was brought back to the castle, do you know what he said? He died like a true knight. Chivalry begets the worship and glorification of death. Am I alone in finding that grotesque? <laughs> I suppose you'll excommunicate me for blaspheming like this. Not at all. I am not a knight, so I have no intentions of lecturing you about chivalry. So long as one's conduct is consistent with the teachings of the goddess, it is up to the individual to decide right from wrong. In that case, I'd like you to formally pardon me for not having friends. You require no such pardon. This is merely advice from an old man to a younger one. As unwavering as your convictions may be, the others also feel strongly about their beliefs. If you hate all those whose beliefs are different from yours, you will hate everyone eventually. People with exactly the same beliefs as you simply do not exist. You do not have to change your beliefs, of course. But you do have to accept that others feel differently. That is my advice to you. I will speak no more of it. Sedith, can I ask one thing? Why are you going out of your way to tell me this? Why bother with me at all? Because I trust you. Now that I've heard what you have to say, I trust you even more. I am also a rather eccentric person. I thought you and I might get along. I see. You've gone to so much trouble, I may have to start making an effort as well. Good. Do not take this the wrong way, but I hope you will surpass my expectations. <laughs> Philosophical. At least a bit. So, Ash and Annette A+. Plus. Almost forgot how spooky this place is. I don't know if I can do this alone. No, I've got to. What use am I to anyone if I can't even handle an empty tower? Here goes. The doll from my father must be in there. But I'm too scared to go looking for it. 
Annette! Ash, what are you doing here? Oh, here, I got this for you. My doll! You went back for it? But why? Your father gave it to you. I know you said you'd throw it away, but you can't just toss out something so important. Ash... Thank you. I'm so happy. To be honest, I didn't have the courage to go back in there to get it myself. But thanks to you, I didn't have to. And you're afraid of ghosts, right? Were you okay in there all by yourself? Well, uh, not really. I tried my best not to think about it. My legs shook whenever I did. Oh, poor Ash. You're safe now, I promise. Knock it off, would you? I'm okay now. But I'm glad I could help you and see a smile on your face. Look at me, though. <laughs> a grown man, scared of ghosts. Pathetic, right? No, I don't think that at all. I think you're something special, Ash. You were really brave and all for me. That wasn't an easy thing to do. I'm in awe of you. Thanks. Maybe there is still hope for me as a knight. Yes, I'll gladly attest to that. I'm sure you'll be a splendid knight. Maybe you'll even outdo my father. Well, that's a frightening thought, comparing me to someone like Gilbert. But it's a happy one, too. It makes me want to work that much harder. <laughs> Ash and Petra A+. Plus. Nice. Another support down. What is it, Petra? Something catch your eye? Yes. The architecture of this cathedral is very grand. Fodlin craftsmanship always makes me astounded. I have been hearing that all of its adornments have meaning and are all honoring the goddess. I heard that too. I'm not sure of the details, though. That reminds me. I've been wondering. Do you worship the goddess in Bridget? The goddess does not reside in Bridget. There are, however, many spirits there. Earth spirits, water spirits, wind spirits. Spirits dwell in all things. The ocean, for an example. The spirit of the ocean is with two faces. Its kind face is bestowing bountiful blessings. But its terrifying face is bringing disaster. I guess it's natural for the ocean to have spiritual significance to you, when you're surrounded by it. Since Bridget's made up of islands, your people must have a lot of experience with boats, too. Yes, I have great skill at sailing. However, to be swimming is what I really love. Swimming in the ocean? I've never had the chance. What's it like? The ocean can feel shallow or deep, bright or dark, and it is filled with many creatures. There are always new things for discovery. On sunny days, I like to be diving under the clear surface of the ocean and to be looking up at the sky from below. Those moments are my favorite. The sun shining through the blue water. It can be making even the water sparkle like gems. That sounds amazing. I can't even imagine it. You must really love it, though. Your description just now was very poetic. It makes my time swimming in rivers and lakes feel pretty small in comparison. I am having an idea. When this war is over, we should be going to Bridget. With each other. Oh, well, I'd definitely like to visit. It's not the right time for me to travel, though. My duties as a knight will have to come first. A knight? Very well. I will be establishing an order of knights for you and Bridget. Wait, what? A whole knightly order, just like that. I am going to become the queen of Bridget. Ash, you will become my guardian knight. Do not have fear. I will be making your dream come true. I don't know, Petra. This is really ambitious. We will be diving into the ocean with each other and be gazing up at the sky from behind the waves. I give you this promise. I hope you are understanding. All right, all right. That smile of yours has gotten to me. I don't think I can refuse. Here's to a long retainership. Annette and Gilbert A. Praying, Father? 
Yes. Praying is all I can do. For I am at fault for each death upon the cursed plain of Dusker. You keep saying it's your fault, Father, but you're wrong. His Highness doesn't blame you. Neither does King Lambert, I'm sure of it. But I guess that's not the issue for you, is it? It was my duty to protect the royal family. I should have given my life to protect the king, even if his highness has forgiven me. My knightly vows are still broken. My knighthood is lost. That's obvious from looking at you, father. I think mother understood it as well. But before fleeing the country, I wish you had thought about your family. If only for a moment. Even if the whole world had condemned you. We would always have been your allies. I am sorry, Annette. No, I told you before. I don't particularly want you to apologize. Annette. Yes, father? Take this. A bundle of letters? There are so many. Look inside and you will understand. Should the contents make you sad, please burn them. Father! For the love of... He's done it again! But what have we here? <laughs> Just as I thought. Letters for me and mother. And so many. But why? And how? <sighs> I suppose I'll have to read them if I hope to find my answers. Just wrote letters, but never had the courage to send them, I guess. Man, that's a lot more uh, support down there. Oh, it's Sedith. I'd better slip away before he... Ah, I see you are indulging in a bit of reading. You are fond of books, I take it? Yes, reading's one of my favorite pastimes. I was just finishing up, actually, so I think I'll... That is most fortuitous. Um, fortuitous? How do you figure? Come with me. I have a story to share with you. Once upon a time, deep in the cold mountains, there lived a lazy fox and an industrious squirrel. The squirrel worked tirelessly all day long, while the fox did nothing but lounge around and play. When autumn came, the squirrel hurriedly gathered up acorns for the winter. But the fox continued to play without a care. A biting winter fell upon the land. The mountains, caked in snow, concealed all nourishment from sight. The hungry fox went to the squirrel's dwelling, but the squirrel had locked up tight and gone to sleep. Every so often, the squirrel would wake, enjoy a nibble of an acorn, and then return to an easy slumber. The fox, on the other hand, with nowhere else to turn, was forced to scrounge for food in the bitter cold of the forest. Forlorn and hungry, he wandered in solitude all through the winter, until spring came once more. And so it is to this very day that foxes are denied the comforts of hibernation. Ah, I really learned something about foxes. <laughs> <laughs> I read lots hmm. of fairy tales like that. There's when like I was no little. moral to that story. The, the lazy fox aside from the just don't be lazy, squirrel, I guess. Huh? That one I don't think I've heard before. That is not surprising, considering the I ending wrote it. doesn't oh, state the moral. You wrote it? Especially if it's a children's story. When Flane was young, she loved fairy tales more than anything. I would read them to her often. This one, however, is a more recent creation. I wrote it for the benefit of the children in the monastery. So, what do you think? I'm curious to hear what sort of impression it made on you. It's so cute! You, you found it to be cute? I can just see it now. You writing fairy tales for your little sister. That's just the cutest thing! Honestly, to me, you usually come across as stern and overly perceptive. But now I know you have a sweet side, too. I feel like I'm seeing you in a whole new light. That is... not what I was hoping to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get that moral through, but, uh... A little bit of a stubborn one, she is. 
Your face looks stiff as ever, Gilbert. As I said before, I cannot change my nature. Understood. And I suppose seeing you train with an expression of glee would be rather unsettling. Still, you finished for the day, yes? Would you join me for tea and perhaps a chat? Professor Hanneman, may I ask a question first? Certainly. Ask away. I'll answer whatever is within my power to do so. Why concern yourself with me? I have no crests. I'm of no particular use to you. Whatever are you talking about? I don't speak to you out of some ulterior motive. Certainly, I have previously approached others because of my research interests. That is not the case here. I merely wish to get to know you. You wish to know me? Yes. It is not often I have the opportunity to find friends my own age, you see. Well, regardless of how you feel, speaking for myself, I already consider you something of a friend. You must have heard of my tenacity. It will prove easier if you accept my offer of friendship now. <laughs> Was that a laugh? A rarity for you, Gilbert. Can I take that to mean we are friends indeed? I see no reason not to be so. Well, I am honored. Then, as a first step, I would like it if we could find a common interest. A hobby to engage in. Something the younger folk would not appreciate and may <laughs> even be irritated by. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> Another laugh. I must say, we make a better duo than I first expected. Sometimes you would like to see an A support, even if there Hello, wouldn't be Gilbert. much more content out drills? of it. That's a shame. I was just about to ask if you'd spar with me. Oh, bad timing. Eh? As I understood, you wounded your arm in battle. Were you not told to avoid exerting yourself for some time, so as to not aggravate the injury? The arm's all healed now. Thanks for asking. Besides, I have to keep exercising it or the muscle will waste away. Here I am, ready to spar. Catherine, your wound was gravely deep and should be given time to heal. It's not the first time I've gotten a scratch in battle. You needn't be concerned. Besides, eventually I'll lose this whole body, not just an arm. As a knight, I have to come to terms with the fact that I will die someday. Please, speak not of such ill-omened thoughts. I could not bear to see you fall in battle, Cassandra. Oh, uh, pardon me. I am quite sorry, Catherine. Is something wrong? It's not like you to blurt that out where anyone could overhear. I... I allowed my emotions to best my good sense. My deepest apologies. It's not like anyone is looking for me in Garrig Mach, but still. Since we both have secrets to hide, we do well to watch our mouths. Right, Gustav? Yes, agreed, agreed. It may be poor compensation for my gaffe, but I will aid you in your training if you are still interested. If you're completely certain you're healed and strong enough, that is. Always so formal, eh? Still, I humbly accept your kind offer, good sir. Let's see how your land skills fare against me. Alright, that's all the supports. Thank goodness. Anybody need fixed up stuff? Might as well keep that up. Yeah, 
His stuff is fine. He has enough uses. And that steel bow should be good for one mission. Alright. Protecting Garagmok. Fulfilling a promise made five years ago, your former soon gather once more at the monastery. As do the knights. However, your Joker reunion is cut short. And I'm thinking it's getting decently late, so I'm just gonna call it a night. Yeah, it's midnight. I'm getting pretty tired. At the monastery at Garag Mok, the Kingdom Army proceeds to bolster its forces, but the Empire is already one step ahead. An Imperial Vanguard, led by General Randolph, has deduced the location of the Kingdom Army and now advances with the aim of toppling Garag Mok for a second time. Yeah, gotta sleep this off. Yeah, usually like, it always feels like the best amount of uh, time when you're sick is when you're uh, asleep. Unless you're like hitting the peak of a cold, then you just end up feeling worse. But, It'll eventually pass. Just don't eat microwave freezer pizza from now on. Yeah, we've done this mission multiple times. Unsurprisingly, Dimitri is here. Fully required. Units. We get 11 units this chapter. The one unit we didn't bring along, I think, is Constance. Which is fine. It's fine. We don't have to. We don't have to bring Constance. Actually, and that. You still need Felix A plus support. As well as Kaspar, Hanneman, and Gilbert's A+. Okay, so we'll leave you in. Once somebody's supports are all done, then we can swap them around. As for you... We're throwing in the Wyvern Rider. And you were throwing you back in the Wyvern Rider since you almost had that. the other. So we'll just take this. So you'll get Wyvern? Yeah, you did. Uh, abilities. You already have seal defense on. Good. See, since there is no... Nobody is worth stealing from in normal maps. I'll give you a sword crit back. As for him, we'll give him death blow. Since odds are he should never be in melee range. Condition, I can remove that and add in bow crit. Gilbert, do you have anything special? You are using axes so you can get lance breaker. For that, we'll take Pavis. 
Dexterity is garbage. But we don't really have anything better, so we'll keep that on. Alright, now for supports. Gilbert, you first. You need B support with Manuela. Ash has a support with Catherine, so we'll do that. Ingrid has a support with Seneth. Now for the map. Um, I'm really debating replacing somebody so we can have constants for killing high priority targets. I don't believe I need to play super offensively in this map. Since we're defending a point, it just gets hard with the uh, archer here. And that archer there. You know what? Just to make things easier... Merced... No, not Merced as... Um, we'll replace uh, Cyril for this mission. bring in constants for maximum shenanigans. Alright. So, see you next time. Have a good night.